Just so y'all know. Grant your finger. Hmm. <coughs> it's only one review. Five stars. I don't know if I yeah. trust it. How much money did you pay for it? Free ninety nine. Oh, okay, that's a good price. Yeah. Yeah, just put it in a big snifter, let it warm up in your hands, and wait for a nice cold night. That's. Hello, Big Champ. Up, You've big been champ? first a lot lately. Big good champ. job. He's here for my jokes. Mm-hmm. Good or good the job. wisdom of the day. Oh, yeah. Or the shower. He asked me oh. shower thoughts. <laughs> and told me. Man. Astro Juicy, what's up? Oh, a bunch of the R. Tempest. There's a Tempest. There's a bunch of R, and then this one it's is autograph. hand. Auto, hand sign. Oops, hold on. This is like hand one sign. One of the cameras is off, huh? Is it? it? Yeah, I see it on this edge. So it's, I don't know which one. Yeah, it. the left edge, you can see one of the green screens yeah, is. It's oops. Cutting into it's yours. a little fucked. That's probably this one. This looks like it. It is not. <laughs> I just fuck. No, 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 no. It's all me. It's all me. Okay. I think it's this one over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get this one wrong, too. I hope it's this one. Got it. Damn. <laughs> Zero viewers. Pepsi Man, are you not a viewer? Hell yeah. It's at least one. <laughs> Fell off. Nikki D we ain't did. a viewer neither. <laughs> you get older and it's hard to. <laughs> Pepsi Man. Hey, man, at 13 years doing YouTube, you don't give a fuck whether you fell off or not. So as long as our check's still clear. It's more than that. It's, yeah, George. it's been a while. It's more I can't remember. George? George? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kenja. Kenja, yeah, yeah. George. It's his heritage. What as is? A, uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. As a Eastern European, ah, this is his heritage. Yes, this is. This is your heritage, every Eastern European must play this game as a rite of passage the in their tribe. <laughs> the G-Man said, AJ, you made me get into board games. For hey. fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I got you get into it. Uh, Gallant Tempest, get out of here. Ban yourself immediately. This is not a, a ghost dragon. Hold on. I need to find the Heroes of Might and Magic. This is a bone dragon. They're not the same. Uh, logo. No. You know what? Hey, Where's who's that, guys? Joe? Lockwinderatwal. Wow. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. <laughs> I knew I knew Joe couldn't pronounce it. That's why I said Joe. I've been tr uh, practicing. You've been practicing sub sub pronunciation. Well, welcome. Thank you for deciding to what? go above and beyond the call of duty. Heroes of might and magic. All-time favorite game. So many good memories playing that on PC. Yeah. Well, let's see whether the board game is any good. You know, I oh, never right. I played this game regularly. I know. I know how legendary it is. I would like to play the board or the video game after I play the board game. Where is the logo? There it is. Alex, though, is an, an aficionado. Joe has never played it. Don't even bother. Joe has played, played it once. It. What? You made him play it? He No, no. He sat next to us while we played okay, it. And then he said count. dumb shit. No, that That's count. what I do. Yeah. <laughs> My MO, baby. <laughs> Dumb shit and me go hand in hand. There's actually an amazing clip of OJ being very serious. He's like, you guys need to do this, 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 and this. And then Ray and I both stop exactly yes. what we're doing. And we look I back at him like that. he's an idiot. <laughs> and then we ignore him and go back to our game. And that was, it was, we had that clip for a while. That was a good one. That would play for streams? Yeah, Doc oh. had it. We'll have to see if Doc still has it. Mm -hmm. It was a very good clip. What did Joe say? <laughs> I don't. I don't, don't remember. He's like, thing. I recommend doing <laughs> such and such, and it's just yeah, like I was saying something stupid, but like in a serious. Tone. But he was being very serious about it, and it's like, oh. And they're like, you know what the fuck? I was like, yeah. <laughs> don't tear the edges. It's in shadow. If it's good quality, then 
But yeah, sometimes we get a little... Feel like I'm in church. It does feel like I'm in church. <laughs> grab your beers, chat. We're in church. Everybody grab your beers. Is a board game stream today. We got a little ahead on our video content, except for Dragon's Dogma, but I plan to play it here over the weekend. So, I just want to switch it up, do something a little different. Player aid. Hater aid. Cream soda. Cream soda? Mm -hmm. I like cream soda. No beer. Cream In small soda. doses. Like small cans? Yeah. You know those little eight ounce cans? I think they're eight ounce. Those eight ounce? Yeah, those tiny ones that you buy at the supermarket. OJ's supermarket. <laughs> he never keeps them stocked. Can never find the flower in his fucking place. I'm busy doing other things, more important things. Like stalking your customers? Only the hot ones. <laughs> With tramp stamps. You know she a freak. Stop Angry. Beer is disgusting. I thought that too. Then I, I thought that too. Uh, flavored ones. For a long time Stouts until the temperature was 110 degrees and I was outside working on my VR4. And then my friend was like, hey, man, you want a beer? And we was, I think it was in high school. And then I popped open a normal Budweiser. Oh, and it was so good. It was like the nectar of the gods, even though it tasted like shit. <laughs> but it was just the right thing at that time. What are these? That's from around. Look at that. Alex is recognized. What about this one? Uh, that plots your your actions, like it lets you know how far you can go. Oh, really? This looks like this a board is this game actually would have been only. this would have been great in uh, you know those uh, I don't even want to there I don't want to shit on them while they're down. But Creative Assembly hmm. needs these that turn into these, showing you exactly it's like hey this is exactly how far you can move on like today like to the individual little thing because they they space them out too far. It's like come on, hmm. copy from other companies. It's how video games get better. Because when you don't learn from your mistakes and the mistakes of other companies, you end up making Dragon Dogma 2. Where's, where's the... We can't play. You found the clip? Uh, where's the rule book? Who found it? Gallant Tempest found it. What? L Damn, that's Link it in there. The fucking rule book. Oh, man. That was fast, sir. It may have been saved on the... On the clips? Uh, can you... Flippy, can you give Gallant Tempest permission to post a link? Priest? Priest. Oh, hold on. Oh, fuck. So I took out the rule book for this game and oh, Uprising, and I gave one to Patrick. I gave him oh. Uprising. Patrick. <laughs> took it to the bathroom. No. Probably downstairs somewhere. Hold on. In short time. Mazoku, thank you so much. Oh, there's three years. McGregor, we love your movie. I wouldn't say love, but it's good. <laughs> there was one or two people like, I hated this. They, I don't understand why they didn't hate it. It's like, oh, I mean, we people, sometimes yeah. you like different things. Or take things as they are. I saw the comments. He's like, they lost all credit. Oh man, we lost credibility a long time ago. You guys get credit? I don't get credit. Yeah, we don't get credit for <laughs> shit. Uh, we'll have to click that when that's the link, Joe. Okay. Oh, click on that one. Found the rule book. Okay. That's my wisdom. And Captain <laughs> Blow Up. <laughs> what kind of 
the credit? Ba, 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 Republic take my credits. credits. Thank you. <laughs> These are always really low. We don't need to eat these. Yeah, you got well, the you rest got of them. The the <laughs> and the rest of them are just going to sit I'm here. Plotting in the background. Just sit in the house. I mean, I'll Joe's shaking his head. A good one. <laughs> okay. Secret is I have no idea what you're talking about. What's that secret? I never do. Can blow up doll 20, 20 months. I wish I could sing like this. It'd be fucking epic. Bust it out in parties. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a weirdo in the corner. It's like, what is he doing? So. It's majestic. <laughs> He's doing his falsetto again. Fight each other. Steal their kingdoms, find resources, fight each other and mutual enemies, and win the many different scenarios in Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the board game. And in this video series, we'll be teaching you how to play Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the board game. Game designed by Kamil Bialkowski and Jakub S. Olekshik and published by Archon Studios. Yes. <laughs> and hi everyone, it's Stella. And Tarrant here from... Those Google do Google. sound like the design. This will be a little bit different to our typical how to play as we'll be splitting this into a... Explore, to learn how to play videos. All tutorial videos from... Magic 3 is played in missions. Okay. So to begin setup, you'll need to choose a mission from the mission book. In this video, we'll, we'll be Brave showing New you World. from Brave New World. This is a two to three player clash scenario, which means Perfect. that all players are competing against each other to be the one who completes a specific victory condition. Each player will choose one of the factions and takes all faction components. Okay, each player chooses one of the factions. Let's see what are the factions in the game. Scarlet, thank you so much for them biddies. That's mean, Gallant. What? How many OJ factions are in, or are in my magic, Alex? Uh, Inferno, there's Fortress, there's Conflux, there's Necropolis, there's Castle, there's Tower. Uh, uh, is there's there a uh, knight? Yeah, Castle. Castle's the knight, the good people. Goody two-shoe. They got angels and... The one on the top right ah, there. Ah, here we are. Inferno. All right. Inferno or terrible. Inferno or terrible. Terrible. Maybe in the board game they kick ass. Inferno. Rampart. Uh, those are elves. It's like, think of Tolkien's world, fantasy. Well, maybe I want to be Inferno. So what are the Inferno? Demons? Uh, yeah. There's there's demons. There's devils. Fuck yeah. There's pit fiends. Imps. Maybe I'll be Inferno. Rampart. Uh, elves, unicorns, gold dragons, green dragons, dwarves, Fortress. centaurs, uh, defensive creatures, hydras, lizard men, basilisks, gorgons. Tower. Uh, Humans. No. no. Tower is like, that's a giant or So tower, uh, titans, mages, genies, nagas. Um, Not going to work here no more. Dungeon? Uh, minotaurs, black dragons, medusas, troglodytes, sweet. which is a great thing to call someone. Troglodyte. Tro <laughs> fucking troglodyte. Necropolis. That is pretty obvious. Gonna be you? And yeah. Castle's human. Ca yeah, Castle's All right. Human. We'll let Alex pick first since Alex is most familiar Let's with the game. For the chat. Yep. Well, I didn't know we were playing this today, and I happened to wear this shirt, and so I'm going to choose. This is from Heroes 2. Oh, shit. So <laughs> I will pick Necro. That's a Necro. Okay. Yeah. I'll give Joe a second pick here. Titans. Tower. Titans? Titans are the, t the top unit of the tower faction. Okay. Tower. All right, Joe, what should I, I pick? There was a wizard on there. Yeah. They're good. Oh, no. Good. I guess Fortress. Oh, 
no. Are all the things the same? Oh, each faction is different. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah, as far as power level, dungeons r- way up there. They've got a bunch of archers. Black dragons are one of the best units in the game. Black uh, dragon. I probably won't get to yeah. it at, yeah. until the end. I don't. They didn't have conflicts in here, so they're not Dungeon. doing any of the. I guess I'll be. What color is that? Gray. What color is yours, Joe? I'm gray. I'm gonna try to stay gray. away from the colors. Oh, y'all are both gray. He's a different kind of gray. He's right? light gray. I'm dark gray. See, that's what I was hoping to stay away from. Uh, we'll we'll see if there's many. Thank you, Terrible Terrors. Everyone's AJ, OJ, and Chad. Hope you are doing awesome. Sweet. Well, I, guess. I know. <laughs> What'd you do to him? <laughs> I don't know. Inferno. Um, dungeon. Okay. Dungeon. Faction selected. Dungeon also some very strong heroes. Because now we probably have to select heroes, and they better Which have the right the shit. Which are for the most part distinguishable by the faction color. You will have your town board, which you flip face up, and note that your faction color is represented by the border around this side. Mm. White. You'll have Pardon. one double-sided hero card, and at this point you have to choose your main hero for the scenario. Of oh, all the castle double. heroes, those are the ones they chose? Here's the castle hero. I better have either Sandro... Thant. That's got to be Sandra or Thant, right? Who else can we have? No clue. You, you uh, should have Solomir, who so is a chain lightning motherfucker. At level one, he gets chain lightning. Yes. Catherine or Rion. Yeah, those are. that's a choice. A poo-poo? Yeah, they're not good. I think this is my faction, Mutare. No, she's an overlord. She's a dungeon. And Alamar. Alamar's really good. Really, really, really good. Okay. Is this dungeon? That's dungeon. All right, I got it. It should have been Jedi. This is you, Alex. Vidami? Yeah, she's pretty good. Who was on the back? Close enough. Lord Hard. Uh, He looks cool. Yeah. You don't like him? There are, like, iconic ones that have been in every Heroes game, and he ain't ain't it. All right, you you choose. Yeah. All right, Joe. uh, Solmir? Yes. Or... Dracon. Solomir. Nope. Is Solomir? He comes with chain lightning. Genie. They get genies as creatures. Oh my units. god, chain lightning. He comes I with I should have chose this. At level Fuck one. you, Joe. You have Unlimited resurrection. Limited power. Oh, I think Jedi. there's more. Jedi. You want to be Jedi. Oh shit. Jedi. Mysterious warlock. Demir. Meteor shower. Fuck yeah. So there's multiple heroes, Alex. So maybe your favorite. Maybe team. it's in there. All right, which one between these? They two? They change Jedi. Hmm. Let's see. His pa- his specialty Jedi is what? Is mysterious warlock. Oh, that's see. not right. All what right, it? it's supposed to be resurrection. It's one of like well, Jedi no, P. Alamar is Adi- Ad- Alamar and Jedi P. Both are the uh, resurrecting. They were probably trying to vary it up a little bit, maybe. Mm. He has sorcery, whereas Alamar has wisdom. wisdom yeah. So, so I would take Alamar. I would probably go. Well, you don't even know what Mysterious Warlock is, do you? No, I don't. It's probably they like could, a they board could. game Mysterious thing. Second. They could. All right, I'll stay with Alamar. Uh, who is this? Adelaide, she has frost ring. She's pretty good. And Lord Hart, who's useless. Oh, it's a good guy. Yeah, it's a good guy version of Lord Hart. Yeah. Okay. Next is uh, Joe. These are yours, Iona. Mm-hmm. You could be a female genie. Yeah. No, it's got genies. Yeah, but this one has chain lightning. Josephine. Mm-hmm. I should be Josephine. That's my female name. Uh, let's get some music in here since it, since we're just like dragging all of this out. All right, what else we got? We got Mephala, Mephala. Yeah, and we have Clancy. Clancy. <laughs> that guy look funny. He's a dwarf. He's got unicorns. Fucking, he's sweet boy. And she's an armor. Uh, oh, Tamika. All right. Tamika. She's all right. She's a vampire. 
Sandro. Sandro's iconic as shit. Cloak of the Undead King. Excuse me, fucking what? Yeah. He co- Okay, they're changing some shit, because I want to be Sandro if he comes with Cloak of the Undead King. So, <laughs> necromancers, when they kill something, they raise a percentage of skeletons. The Cloak other. of the Undead King means you raise liches instead of skeletons. Oh. Well, we don't know what that is. Yet. Yeah, but I, I want to make it be him. Okay. Withstand. Yeah, he's Beast terrible. Beastmaster. Adrene. Andrew's terror. Yeah. Adrene. Yeah, he ain't Adrene. Good. Ain't good. You want Tazar. Galu. G- Gem. Yeah. Whoa! Truly, truly outrageous. Uh, Braun. Beastmaster. I like Braun. Tazar. Second best hero in the game. Cool. So Except for they changed the specialty, which is weird. War hero. Jedi, we already know that. And then I, I guess these two are separate. Yeah, those are Inferno. Fiona people. and Sion. Inferno. Efret. Well, that's cool. I'm already kind of. Wow. This guy looks crazy. Just do it. Just do it. Merez Alderon, thank you for subscribing 57 months. Terrible terrors for 31 months. Happy Wednesday, AJ OJ and Chad. Hope you're all doing awesome. All right, well. Because there's might heroes and then there's magic heroes. That's a magic hero, magic hero, magic hero. We're all magic heroes? Yeah. So might heroes are going to have higher attack and defense, and then as they level up, the the skill gain or the that stat point gain will lead more towards attack and defense. And if you're magic based, it's, it's, you'll get more knowledge and wisdom. Cool. Let's see what else we need to gather. And this will either be a hero of might, represented by the helmet, or a hero of magic. That's what I said. Okay, so pop your, pop your, pop, pop your cuche. Pop a pop that cuche, baby. Okay, and then I guess give me the debris. So I'll put it all over here. Uh, yeah, if you've got some debris. And then take your color. Uh, these these are looking pretty similar color. Of course, y'all had to pick gray and slightly different gray. Is white one? I hate you. Know. There is white, yeah. Just make them white. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it, yeah, but then what is the other one? Oh, my God. No, there is, this is gray this and is slightly his, different gray. Because this is his guy. That's fucked white. up. And this is my guy. So they're they're distinct enough, Joe. Yeah. What? Oh, so Joe's almost white. I like that. On the inside. I get that a lot. No, Joe, you're what? Yeah. You're Alex, white on the inside? Alex calls me a coconut all the time. Mm-hmm. I can't hear you. Alex calls me a coconut all the time. So I think we need to turn Joe's mic up. What do you think? Yeah, I don't want to. Well... They busy. think otherwise. I'm busy right now. You can't even see chat. I know. <coughs> they can't see me either. Okay, you're the lighter gray, Joe? Yes, or white. Okay, I'm going to give you the, l- the white, the lighter gray. Okay. Think. I think these are them. The hardest to distinguish is between black and light gray. Wow. I'm going to lose these. You have no fucking idea. Look at how hard it is to distinguish. But from far, Well, in perfect lighting conditions, it's fine. But when you put it on this. Let that poor guy. Get shot. Thanks so much for them biddies. Which one's different? Doing good today. How are you doing? Very excited because there's a fan expo happening in Philly. Ooh, and Hayden Christensen will be there. Whoa, Hayden Christensen. Nice. I want to go see uh, him. Thank you for... Uh, I'm happy that he's going out meeting the fans, bro. Like, I think he's got good... Uh, fans love him. Sort of like a Henry Cavill thing. Just plenty of goodness. Goodwill. 
You know, even though people say, oh, he's not that good of an actor. It's like, well. He's safe. When you Thanks have, for asking. But he, he will when be you have George Lucas writing your lines, it's probably. There was a massive earthquake. Probably not going to work out for it. I didn't know about that. Jesus Christ. Who's safe? Will. Will. He's supposed to be coming. Will be here in like two weeks. Or a week. Two weeks. But he's on the other end of the island, so he's fine. Yeah. We're supposed to be getting a couple's massage. Okay, wait a minute. Appears they mixed. Lord Master (laughs) Jeff! Seven months! There's way more black cubes than there are anything else, so I'm hoping black cubes are for uh, the game. That's about the same amount of cubes, yeah? Yeah. Deadshot, are you going to ask him to do this, the, mm. uh, the best line? Just put him here, I'll slide him over. Thank you. Tell him to do Just the same. There's a the fucking hand. There's, there's some one more over there on your board. Okay. Okay. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, the managers look great. All right, so we need these counters um, in the different colors. There's a purple one. Yeah. I need all the purple. And you're blue? No, you're you're the white. You're some kind of white. It's that. Those People say that to me all the time. Yours. Then we can tell what you are, but you're some kind of white. <laughs> yeah. You're some kind of white. And then you're... But in the game, the whites are useless. There you go. Okay. Uh, they're like the worst unit ever. White signifies a unit level? No, like uh, it's type of spirit, a oh, white, and they're useless. Oh, whites. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny. It could be scary in some games, but I guess not this game. It's just a funny thing to yell. Whites are useless. Whites are useless. Uh, Alex is racist. It's not my fault you guys have the wrong homonym. Okay. What else? Represented by the wizard's hat. You'll have 20 faction colored cubes. Ah, 20. You'll them into the first slot at the bottom of your hero's track. Okay. This track represents your hero's level. You'll start at level one and increase cool. across the course of the game, hopefully as high as level seven. Cool. Anywhere you see these Roman numeral numbers throughout the game, it represents level. Yeah. Whether it be a hero level or the level of an enemy you're facing. Below your town board, lay out your seven town building tiles so that the image forms a panorama. These represent the buildings you're yet to construct. The mission setup will show you any starting buildings. And so you'll move that building to your town board as constructed. So I really like it when games include boards that are, you know, these pop-outs. You know, where you had these little slots, and all of these were neatly packed in here, so that was pretty cool. I messed up the order. Now I can never... Uh, I'm fucked. God damn it, Joel. It forms a panorama. <laughs> yeah, this way, you hear or that the guy? way, or this way. <laughs> the guy said it forms a panorama. Well, let's see if this is right. <laughs> it looks okay. See, it looks okay. Not the best. But no. See, maybe this one starts over here. Well, which you camera know. is out? <laughs> oh, Joe, can you turn on the tower? Yes. Flip the button up. It's on the back side. See the tower? Yep. Not not the computer tower. Please do not turn off the computer, <laughs> Joe. Where's the switch? It's on the back. See the switch? There you go. <laughs> Hey, Get a car, what's you up? got it. You got it. You got it, man. All right, here we go. 
note that a building tile with two icons represents two different buildings. In this instance, I start with the bronze dwelling, but not the blacksmith, so I will flip this over to the bronze dwelling only side. A circular icon is a constructed building, a rectangle is a building which can later be constructed. In the matching slots, place your build token, your population token, and your spell book all face up. Why is population a Find the seven what do you call that symbol? In your faction's color. Seven what? Seven some cards in your faction's color. Okay. I got a lot of cards. I'll sip drink. I'll, I'll sip the drink, drink right, right now. Admiral Brocode. Six months. Rare core game deck two. Oh. I really like that they do this. What? You have uh, actual, the decks are labeled. That is a very rare thing. Core game deck two of two. Core game one of one. This is the battlefield expansion that goes to the hexes. Because I think the n normal game has cards, but then you get an upgrade. And you go to the hexes. Tower stretch goals. Let's leave that alone. Fortress expansion. Let's leave that alone. Rampart expansion. Let's leave that alone. And Inferno EN. What is the expansion? Well, this can't be an expansion. Oh, these are the cards, I think. Joe, were you for it? Was one of us Fortress? What? No. Are you Fortress? I'm Tower. Okay. Well, all right. Core game. Deck two of two. Okay, these are the nomads. What is this? Halflings. Marksmen. Maybe these are uh, just randoms, because, like, camp factions recruit all sorts of different things. They could be random enemies on the map that you f you don't have to beat up. That they're guarding mines or something. They could be recruitables. They could. You have to find I have no idea. All right. And then we've got these types of cars, and this type of car, and then this type. Some harsh words, Don. Some and harsh words. This time. I'm so mean today. Did the jacuzzi break in your, your yacht? Mm hmm. <laughs> Farmers on Don. I hate you. <laughs> I don't know what he said that to. He was responding to me. What did you say to him? I said, Isn't it weird that narwhals are called what they are instead of tunicorns? Because it would make more sense. I hate you. Two the coins are pretty. God damn, this deck is fucking huge. I'm not even sure how you can fucking shuffle something like this. Like another one is Scrap like. Hands. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> These are all the same? That's too many cards of one type. How are you supposed to shuffle that? Let me see this shit. There are. No. 46 spell cards, 32 artifacts, 24 statistics, 30 abilities, 18 specialties. Why are you give them the same backs, you stupid? Get everything else right in this game. Oof. Don't get don't do the stat. Don't do that. Now I have to do this stupid shit. They're not it's not knowledge, it's observations. Like, isn't it a missed opportunity that we called them butt plugs instead of assifiers? So we even have the little thing, the little handle. It sounds better. Yeah. It sounds cleaner. Assifier? I don't know, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it just sounds cleaner. Assifier? Yeah. Butt plug. Assifier. Butt plug just sounds dirty. Yeah. Assifier. <laughs> huh? Ass on fire? It's class. It's much classier. <laughs> Bro, I hate this. <laughs> you have to help me sort that. We're gonna, this gonna, 
chat, the first hour of this stream is uh, going to be sorting cards. Because I don't know all that bullshit. Minus points. <laughs> Minus points. <laughs> it was nice of them to have these little indicators, though, but you fucked it up. It is Fortress Ubisoft. PN. Names on it. They may not have anything to do with the design, but <laughs> their name's on it. They want you to grind on they board games. They didn't have anything <laughs> to do with the design. You pay for extra packaging. It's convenience. Mm -hmm. They Bro, separate the it for fuck? you. <laughs> Wait. Ed, these did you uh, play the Joker? These the aren't junk sorted. What the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> Hold on. 24 spell card. There's so many fucking cards here. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh, are these all the factions? I know, big champ. Maybe these are all the factions. We're talking about that. They got foils. Ooh, shinies. Black dragons. Who's that? These are my you. faction. Black oh, dragons. These are, are all you. foils. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet troglodytes, right? Yeah, it's One, you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many did he say? Piss soaked troglodytes. Seven. These you also have harpies. It's kind of gross. Yeah, that's so okay. So Drogs, harpies, and then evil eyes. Okay. All right, so these are my seven. Haldbeards, that's probably uh, castle. castle. Uh, skellies. Skellies. Zombies, wraiths, vampires, liches. Liches get bitches. Dead king, dread knights, and ghost dragons. Those are pretty cool. Those are yours. Alex. What is uh, one in Joe's faction? Uh, he has gremlins, and then he has iron golems. Gremlins are from gremlins. Yeah. Still feed them uh, after midnight? Yes. Of water. Joe has. You don't get them wet. Spray them But you'll water. have no problem with that. Oh. Gremlins, gargoyles, iron golems, yep. magi, genies, <laughs> nagas, mm -hmm. and titans. Titans. Yeah. And since y'all didn't see mine, troglodytes, harpies, evil eyes, medusas, minotaurs, manticores, and black dragons. Very cool. Very cool. All right. We'll leave these other factions unopened. They have the wrong art for skeletons and on proof. <laughs> but these <laughs> dread knights like? are pretty sweet. These cards are double-sided. There is an upgraded side with a holographic finish, which is called a pack, and there is a basic side, which is called a fuse. Based on this star in the top right corner, units are split into bronze, silver, and gold tier. And the mission setup will tell you what your starting units are. Here you get a few of the bronze unit with the highest recruitment cost, and a pack of the bronze unit with the lowest recruitment cost. Players starting units should go in piles near the combat board, with the rest kept near your town for future recruitment. Next, players will use cards with this back to assemble their own personal might and magic decks of nine cards. We're going to talk about what these cards are and how to assemble this deck in Chapter 2. Check the mission book to determine each player's starting resources and starting income into three types of resources, money, building materials, and valuables. You'll take your starting resources in tokens <coughs> and set your starting income with cubes on your town board. Next, set up the map tiles. Okay, we're going too fast here. Okay, so starting. Starting units. Each player starts with the following units. Ow. One times a few bronze star units with the highest recruitment cost. One times a pack of bronze star units with the lowest recruitment cost. So we get the best bronze and the worst silver? 
Is that what it's saying? No, they're both bronze. So it's right there. Uh, a few bronze. One, a few equals a few bronze units with the lowest recruitment cost. What's the recruitment cost? Uh, the gold on the bottom left, I think. Bottom left. Yeah, he circled it earlier, didn't he? Based on this star in the top right corner, units are split into bronze, silver, and gold tier. And the mission setup will tell you what your starting units are. I don't know, a are. few in a pack. What the yeah, fuck you is get that? a few of the bronze unit with the highest recruitment cost. He said that a few are the non-foily, and then the pack were the foily, right? You just flip it over to... That's not what Oh, you said. maybe you're right. Why, why would... Oh, you're right. There it is. Pack. Double -sided. There is an upgraded side with pack. a holographic finish, which is called a pack. And in the top right. Okay, so you get a few and you get a pack. A few with the high, highest recruitment cost, which for me should be are evil, evil eyes. eyes. Yeah. Did you do that by memory? I know all. I know everything. I played tens of thousands of hours of this game. Oh, like man. seriously, tens yeah. of thousands of hours. That's so Fucking cool. That Ray and I used to play for pro like twelve hours every weekend for over a decade. Yeah. All right, Joe. Here's how it goes. Um, tell tell them how it goes. You got you got a pack of these, mm -hmm. and you got a few of these, and then these go somewhere else. A pack of the bronze. Nobody has no silvers, and nobody has no. Goals. You better not give me vampires. Pimp slap the shit out of this world. Well, I don't understand, Alex. A pack of the units with the lowest recruitment cost. Where's the recruitment cost? It should be troglodytes. They should the the gold symbol on the the bottom left should be some small gold amount. Oh, I guess you have to flip it over to see what, what it's a what what it's the, recruitment cost. Should you, be. Okay, so should evil be. eyes and troglodytes. Yeah. So you have. Oh, this is pretty. No, you don't have any of these. You sure? I no. I mean, if he said that you get a pack and a few, then then that's what it would be. All right. Bam, bam. Each player starts with the following resources: three silver, one crystals, one red crystals. Three stone? I don't know what these are. Uh, it sounds like they've pretty heavily changed what I, the resources are, so I'm not going to be able to help you. Gold tokens. So they're just denominations of gold. Okay, let's just follow this. Your starting units are. Here you get a few of the bronze unit with the highest recruitment cost and a pack of the bronze unit with the lowest recruitment cost. Players starting units should go in piles near the combat board, with the rest kept near your town for future recruitment. Next, players will use cards with this back to assemble their own personal might and magic decks of nine cards. What? We're going to talk about what these cards are and how to assemble this deck in chapter two. You. Check the mission book to determine each player's starting resources <laughs> and starting income what? into three types of resources. He's trying to explain money, the game like, fuck you. <laughs> and You'll take your starting oh, resources, shit, he just said it. building materials, and starting income. Oh, this three is three. Resources, money, building materials, and valuables. Nine, You'll ten, take your starting eleven, resources in tokens 12. and set your starting income with cubes on your town board. 10, 11, Next, 12, set up the map tiles. 13, 14, You'll separate 15. the tiles based on the numbers on their back. All right, here's your money. Six, twelve. Here's your money. It is a fun song. Do my money. I wish we could play the real music. We talked a little about before the stream, but the real music is incredible. So if you've never listened to the Heroes 3 soundtrack, you should. And there's a bunch of orchestrated versions. All right. Set uh, a uh, token uh, into 10, mm -hmm. two. two, and one. Got it. 10, two, and one on your 
So they took the wood out of the game, huh? This uh -huh. up set your starting income with cubes on your town board. Next, set up the map tiles. You'll separate the tiles based on the numbers on their backs. And this represents the level of the neutral... Two, two, three. Here, someone else do this. Set them into their different piles based upon their backs. 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 Open can. I never learned my Roman numerals. Go back to school then. <laughs> I don't uh, teach people that at school anymore. You serious? Use a cursive. Everybody's getting stupider. Yeah, uh, stupid. Is <laughs> stupid though? <laughs> Isn't that why we sent the girls to Jupiter? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I don't girls, know what that means. Girls go to Jupiter no, to get Venus. more stupider. Boys go to Venus because obvious reasons. Because we're the best. <laughs> yeah. Because they have penises? Yeah, that's, that's the whole. I never heard of that. Men are from Mars. Girls are from Venus. That's what I, I know. I got a lot of these. Yeah. Unless Alex did something wrong. Unless Alex did something wrong? <laughs> yeah. Probably. I don't, huh. know. I don't know. If it's wrong, it's probably Alex. Correct. Oh, I see what you're doing. It's right. It's probably it's you. Me. Enemies <laughs> <laughs> you might find there. For the level one tiles, look through them and find the one which depicts your faction. Any which aren't in use get returned to the box. Yeah, I'm not gonna know what that looks like, so Alex will do that. These get returned to the box. I need to move the battlefield here. This is mine. Okay. I'm unsure. We should play with that one. Or no. Let's put this here. Come on, punk. There you go. This looks like we're going to need that somewhere. Okay. Shuffle all of the other decks face down. Shuffle. Set up the map as depicted in the mission book. Shuffle the decks. With the level one tiles face up and nearest where you're seated. With the level one tiles, set up the, the box. Your faction. Any which aren't in use get returned to the box. Shuffle all of the other decks face down. Set up the map as depicted in the mission book with the level one tiles face up and nearest where you're seated. Whatever should we find? No, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> want to bend them? <laughs> Whatever should be fine. <laughs> oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. All right, give me a four through five. That one right there. Give me that one. Give me the top one. Do one. Just one. Give me two more. Oh. Okay. These better be good, Joe. Yeah. I shuffled. <coughs> doesn't look right. Alex shuffled them. <laughs> if it doesn't look right. All right. And then we put our our individual things right here. Just put them. Yeah.
Okay, so that's the board there. Okay, cool. If instructed by mission setup, you may also deal tiles of a certain level to each player face. Take the following map tiles and s wait a minute. Oh, that's for that's a different one. That's for monks retreat. Doing a brain from the world. Monks. I don't know which goes with which. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. Should make an off brand stream of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, uh starting basement, three starting tiles, three near, six far. Each player gets two. So let me get uh the two through threes. Okay, from the two to threes, each player gets two of them. So deal out two to each player. Shuffle. There's three players, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Now, don't, don't look <laughs> at them. Oh. You Number son seven. of a bitch. Put them on the bottom. Give them two more. <laughs> Keep them face down in front of you. Okay. Instead of monks, we're gonna have hunks. <laughs> be sweet. <laughs> yeah. You have monks. These are tiles. Huh? You'll be able to no. alter the map for yourself <laughs> as you explore. Set up the round tracker and shuffle and place the astrology cards face down nearby. So this is the round tracker. I mean, it's a rectangle. And the astrology cards. Do we need to shuffle them? tiles you'll be able to add to the map for yourself as you explore set up the round tracker and shuffle and place the astrology cards face down nearby mark the current round with a black cube and if the mission has any one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen correct shuffle these right yes The Pee Wee Hermans. Big adventure. <laughs> he crashes into that sign. <laughs> Still your favorite. Bit. <laughs> On the motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Any timed event. You may want the current round with a black cube and it's down nearby. Mark the current round with a black cube. And if the mission has any timed events, you may want to mark those with black. Uh, at the beginning of the third, sixth, and ninth. Remove all black cubes from water, from all water wheels and windmill. Third, sixth. Third, sixth. And ninth. Cubes as well. Beside the combat board, shuffle and place the four face down decks of neutral units. Bronze. Aha! Neutral units. That makes sense. There's silvers, golds. Y'all do this. So separate these and then shuffle them and then put it down there. First, I was afraid. <laughs> Why well, it's not that funny? And now I can't stop laughing because it's not funny. Oh, that's funny.
god damn coin. Is this still Hero 6? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Sounds like Rachmaninoff. What? Rachmaninoff. Sergei Rachmaninoff. I thought you were doing the Muppet ones. Phenomena. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's where my head's at right now. <laughs> Piano concerto for a hill number one in a, a, a Hobbs minor. Okay, I'll need to move. I just shuffled those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't fuck with Joe. There's four cards. There's only four cards. Funny Joe. It's allergies. springtime, and so the allergies got you. Pollen. It's called pollen. You call Alex. whatever you want, but the the trees and the grass and the mold are all giving you. They're trying you know, to kill you. Yep. Yeah. Strangle you. Love your juices. neck <laughs> weekly. I need some strong dessert. Dessert deck not working. Mm -mm. How many do you take? 17. <laughs> we do not advise this disclaimer that will kill you. Don't listen to anything I say or cure your allergies. Kill you. You will probably cease to be allergic to things, yes. Yes. You will. <laughs> You'll never sneeze again. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. You will never sneeze again. <laughs> oh, you don't need this? Stop. Don't need what? This. No, we need this. Oh. <coughs> Who are you listening to in chat? Someone who's apparently played the game and said you only need it for dual mode. Tell him to fuck off. That's not Both true. I need him. <laughs> we have a battlefield expansion. What? The battlefield's not part of the base game? You fuck. Fuck. Is he right? I don't know. You got the book. Tell, tell the guy that I told the fuck off to come back. Hey. Arc West. Hey, we said. We're, we're sorry. Off. Unfuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unfuck yourself. No, Joe. What has been <laughs> fucked can never be unfucked. <laughs> unfuck yourself. <laughs> come on back. <laughs> <laughs> unfuck yourself. <laughs> Wait, oh is boy. it fuck off? Fuck on? <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fuck on. Come back. We need you. <laughs> okay, maybe my Heroes of Might and Magic 5 is not copyright. Mm. Mm. Have fun, Doc. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a local recording just in case, but we're still in the setup phase, so we don't really care. 5 is the third best. For some people, it's the second best. And, you know, I can even respect that. Oh, well. Three and then what's two. One, what's one that people do not acknowledge? It's seven. Six, seven, Six seven. Four is terrible as well. But there's always that those people like, I liked four. It's like because it was the first one they ever played. Yeah. And then, but it's awful. Yeah. Even they acknowledge it's bad, but they're like, I like it because yeah, it's yeah. the first one. 
Let's three, try, two, five, let's and then don't play six. any others. Oh yeah, I mean the music. The people they had working on the music were always very talented. It's the people designing the game, though, that's like, mm mm. Let's fuck it all up. I got a great idea. Let's fuck it all up. Two is hard to find maps for, but three, they, I mean, there's all sorts of map packs what do you out mean there. Maps. Like when you. You have to find maps? Well, there's like random map generators that like, but they're like seeded, so it tells you like where the castles and stuff are. So if you want to play over and over and over again, you want. Okay, well, I guess this is for one on one only because, be just because if you were going into tactical battles this complex, uh, you know, it would take forever, I guess. And so that's why they limited to just one on one. All right, go ahead and put those neutrals on the top. Right. Do you have longer arms? Along this top? That's yeah. What we're saying is top. Yeah. Look, that one. I'll put it, wait. I don't know. What yeah, these are the lowest. Bronze, silver, gold. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bronze. Also, place the gate, wall, and arrow tower cards nearby. They may be needed in combat. Gate, wall, and tower. Cards with this back are returned to the box. Right, they may be. Also, place the gate, wall, and arrow tower cards nearby. They may be needed in combat. Arrow tower. Gate. Wall. Gate and wall. Here, push those down. Cool. Next. Combat. Cards with this back are returned to the box. They're used only for solo play. Mm. These? Don't mm -hmm. play with them. It's so only for when you play with yourself. Gate, wall, and arrow tower cards nearby. They may be needed in combat. Cards with this back are returned to the box. They're used only for solo play. Mm. Sorting hat. What? It's a sorting hat. I mean, kind of. The cards with this back we'll talk about in chapter two. Son of a bitch. And it gives you access all to all level five spells. Nearby, ready for use. For black cubes, morale tokens, movement points, treasure dice, resource dice, attack dice, gold, building materials, and valuables. Defense paralysis. <laughs> valuables. Tokens, <laughs> and damage. My valuables. <laughs> <laughs> that so what are these so movement points morale tokens black cubes attack attack resource treasure building material valuables gold damage tokens he never said what those were <coughs> maybe solo mode what which ones choice? Those paralysis tokens. Yeah, defense and paralysis. Oh, yeah. they're all paralysis right now on the back of defense tokens. Cool. Next, players collectively choose a difficulty level. Easy, normal, hard, or impossible. What do you play on, Alex? Impossible. We always played on the hardest difficulty, but I wouldn't. You, you would play on impossible? I yeah. would not. Well, let's not do that. Let's we'll go, go normal. 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 This determines how easy or difficult the enemies will be as you explore throughout the scenario. And it also determines a starting bonus which is taken now. For example, in the easy mode, each player could choose to roll two resource dice and gain the result, or add two artifact cards to their might and magic deck. Each player takes the mini depicting their Normal two, arrow one, or search to whatever symbol. What? Okay, let me go to the setup in the rule book because that one didn't make sense. 
soldiers, player turns, main hero, game modes, morale. Round tracker. Place a come uh, choose a starting difficulty. See page thirty five. Okay, it says starting bonuses. Roll two resource dice and add the result of a chosen die to your resource pool. Or search to the artifact deck. Or search to. Now, search to is a key word. Does that mean you need to keep both or you just keep one? Yeah. He said you keep both. But is it search or is it just draw top two? It says in bold search and then two. You're going to look for the best stuff. Mm -hmm. you know all <laughs> well, know that's why we're rolling a resource die. We're not loading it out of the well, just say search. Just pick the top two and make it easy. Well, unless, yeah, search is a keyword that no. just says draw the top two. I want to know what that fucking search means, Joe. So but I've heard that the rule book man. is a little dookie. So it's, a little but it's made out of lightning, though. It's not really catching uh, on anything. So, search to, search to. You have all these. It's even on the back of the rules, these keywords search. If I can find the keyword search, then we can uh, begin. Roll dice. Main hero. You uh, faction specific. However, you probably if you search the ability deck and find specific faction cards. What? Okay. The easiest way to add new spell cards to your deck is by building a mage tower, mage guild in your town. Upon building the Mage Guild, search to the spell deck twice. If you start with a Magic Guild already built, put these cards directly into your deck instead of your hand. To gain more spells, you may pay the cost shown on the town board to search to the spell deck. You can use the Mage Guild only once per round. When you do so, after you search to, flip your spell book token. You cannot use a Mage Guild to purchase spells on the round it was built. Example 1. Alamor, war warlock hero from the dungeon faction, decides to build a mage guild. He searches to the spell deck and chooses to take the top card from the smell spell discard. So, spell... <laughs> fucking describe what fucking search to is. What's up, Kimmy? How are you? I believe search two is you look at the top two cards and keep one. Is that the guy that was helping us before? No, new guy. <coughs> yeah, because if you search the whole deck, I'm not playing this game. Because fuck that. Alex is going to cheat. No, not because of that, but because <laughs> it takes forever for somebody to look through all the cards. Well, he knows. Cause I, well, he, he wouldn't knows. take forever because he knows. Well, yeah, we he, would look at each card and then analyze, oh, is this the bad one? No, yeah, but there's no the content. Like, for the board game, it's like you don't know... Like one of the best ga spells in the game is slow. It's like a level one spell. It's probably terrible in this because they want True. movement to be. It's like you don't you don't know. Except for chain lightning is always good because it's fucking chain lightning. Oh, okay, yeah. so moving on, let's go to. Uh, in this case, uh, let's let yeah let's do it to where you uh, search that you do the top two cards and you keep one. So you have your choice on normal difficulty. Do you want to roll the resource dice? Two dice, and then keep the resource you want. Or do you want to um, search the artifact deck? Found the artifacts. Oh, uh, you want some artifacts? Yeah, it sounds cool. Okay, well then I gotta do, I gotta set to, up the artifact. Cards. Does he have to roll for the artifacts? Say, if we were to do an example, this is the resource. I would either get four. Wow, four of the stone. Building materials. What is it? Four building materials or six coins. That's pretty fucking sweet. I didn't realize that the values were going to be so high there. Okay. Um, so I guess maybe I'll take six coins. What are coins used for in this game? Usually everything. It's like the, you have to use it to build better structures. You have to use it to recruit um, units. Mm. 
Okay, well then in that case, I, I'll probably take the six coin, but let me sort these decks into their individual decks first because um, it's making us choose from these things right now. So... There's some doo-doo artifacts. I haven't looked at them, but no, there are some hideous really, mask. Really Fizz bad artifacts. Fizz bin of misfortune. What's a mask do? Uh, makes no neutral units will ever join you. Because... <laughs> And you can't take it off. Man. 32 it off artifact <laughs> cards. But then there's also, like, bullshit, like, angel wings, which lets you, like, fly over the whole map. And so it's just like, you don't know. There's the Harry Potter hat that gives you access spell to every card. max level spell. That's it's probably not something in the starting. It better not be in the starting Special artifact deck. Special D1. God damn it. 46 spells. Statistics cards. Does he has to have distinct backs? 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yay, yay! Okay. These are statistics. Next. Sp 18 special abilities and 30 abilities. These look the same. Fuck y'all. hate this. I'm going to say 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Shit. I fucking hate you. Okay, we're going to move on to specialty cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Got it. Never in a board game, unless it's absolutely necessary have the same backs for different decks unless it's not unless they all get shuffled in that was a huge mistake there's no like mass well if yeah the only time that's ever acceptable is if they ever do need to be randomized and but then you have to put like wildly different borders so they're easy to right so 46 spells i think these are the spells one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Yes. Shuffle these, Alex. Those are the spells. Twenty AI cards. Great. How am I supposed Fun to tell? Fun hasn't started yet. You don't know. How am I supposed to tell the difference between the? Fuck. We got those right. Silver bullets. <laughs> I was looking at the silver bullets earlier. I'll give you silver bullet. I'm going to take the one on the bottom. The lining keggle? <laughs> so it's cold, right? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Summertime fun. A little bit of a problem because we have more one more deck than we need to, and <coughs> that's causing issues. Wait, 
Welcome, Trevor. To your nightmare. <laughs> Says supposed to be 32 artifacts. But I have more. Are there things like Holy Grail or really powerful artifacts in there, potentially? Because maybe they wouldn't want them mixed in because they're too good. I think it's because maybe, you know, it's a Kickstarter, so who knows if they added more and fucking changed all their value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Set up in 14, this game? 15, 15 out of 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh. How many 30, we got? 31, 32. I got it. Yay, we're good. Shuffle these artifacts. Give me the spells. See, because like, if I put these face down, they all have the same motherfucking backs. Angel's Wings is in here. So I'm going to put them face up. I don't know what these are. Maybe these are Boom. AI cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nope. These are something else. There's diplomacy, wisdom, necromancy, offense, sorcery, re resistance, estates. What does this sound skills. like? Luck? They're skills. There should be skill cards or um, the things that your character gets as they level up and you'll choose between them. Abilities. Ability cards, okay. Some are terrible. All right, we did it. We fucking found out what all these damn decks are. Even though they all have the same backs. I'm going to keep them face up. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I can't tell the difference between them if we left them face down. So... Moving on now. The chosen main hero places it in the center field of their starting tile, which represents their town, and may that's rotate not, this tile. That's not your dude. Which represents your hero. You're a dude on a horse, but you're just going to look like a wizard with a hat. It's the mini depicting their chosen main hero. Okay, mini depicting a chosen main hero. Yeah, one will be a beef lord, one will be a nerd. One will we'll, be a beef lord? And then we have to pick the ones that are all nerds because we pick nerd heroes. Okay, I picked what? Mutare? No. Did you? Did you change to... Yeah, I changed to... Wait a minute. You... You had Alamar or Jedi. I before. had Alamar. Uh, yeah, Al Alamar's a nerd. You know who Alamar looks like? Man. Oh, there's a bunch of different ones. So is there two per f faction? I think there's four per faction. Oh, that's cool. Well, Male, female, beef lord, nerd. Well, that's, that gives you four. Nerd. You read books all goddamn day. All right, you. All right, what is you? You look for your color and Joe's color and my color. Got it. Here, hold that. Oh, cool! There's little cities. Here's some more over here. Y'all aren't blue, right? Nope. Okay. Well, I found a cool little tower for y'all. Okay. Well, there's Here's, probably this you. city is cool. Oh, they're different cities. Appropriate for they're all designed different. It's pretty sweet. We're not yellow, green, or blue, so we don't need these. Apparently, you don't get a choice. What? There's no options for you. The wizard. I mean, you guys, yeah, are wizards, but wizard the male, the the beef lords are called alchemists. I think for your faction. We get our actual people, and Joe doesn't? I don't believe it. You only have the option between male and female. 
Okay. So I gave you mail. Yeah, it's just like a representation of the hero. Yeah. Okay, because they're not going to sculpt four different heroes. I mean, I got a beef lord and a and a wizard, but OJ doesn't get a choice. Right. Oh, it's actually separated between magic and Oh, I guess might. you could be this one. No, you can be this one. This one was actually kind of you. So it's you. Is it the magic one? It's horrible, but it's you. That's literally you. That's Solomir. They they sculpted Solomir. Yeah, let me see it. Let me see what you're laughing at. Definitely you. how I'd ride a horse. Show my guns to the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with this horse? The horse yeah, Salmir is good as shit. The horse has no legs. <laughs> exactly. Flipping. But it's a genie horse, genie. Joe. All right, you be that. I have to be. That's my guy. Okay. You have no choice. That is your dude. Oh, the other way. Places it in the center field of their starting tile, which represents their town, and may rotate this tile to any orientation of their choosing. Choose a first player, and you're now ready to play. No, put it, put it there. That's you the got a nice little spot right there. Mind Magic 3, and you're in the tile to end the tile in the main <laughs> magic deck. Places it in the center field of their starting tile, which represents their town, and may rotate this tile to any orientation of their choosing. Yeah, but we Choose don't know. Choose a first player, and you're now ready to play. Just put it in the center and, and rotate your tile, Joe. of Mind Magic 3, the ball. This is the second chapter of our How to Play series for Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the board game. In this chapter, we'll teach you how to set up the player decks and decks of cards. Check out the playlist below for the full list of videos. Hey, hi everyone, it's Stella. And Taryn here from Meeple University. Hello, and welcome to the fourth in our video series on... This is the second chapter, chapter three of our and How to Go to the Classroom <laughs> and trying to... Exploring Heroes of Might and Magic 3, you'll be exploring fighting and trying to 11 level chapters up your <laughs> that's a lot man and that's one of the much. tools at your disposal is your might and magic deck a deck of cards showing this back oh, which you'll manage and build across the course of the game How do we you'll get have that? a hand of cards you'll play cards from that hand to your personal discard pile you'll shuffle your discard pile back into your deck at any time when your deck runs out and you'll gradually be adding new and more powerful cards to your hand, and therefore to your deck, to make it stronger. So now, let's first have a look at how we set up these cards and our starting decks. The Might and Magic cards can be... Okay, before we do that, let me set up my card cam. So here's my character. Here are my starting dudes. Here is the deck of people I can recruit from. Here are my money and my tokens. And my panorama. Okay. Cool. That looks nice and clean. They split into five piles based on the layouts of their parts. Magic! Spell cards have the light brown background and represent powerful magics your heroes can wield. Artifacts have the dark brown background and a full width image of that artifact. And these are various objects which your heroes can find as they journey. Abilities have the dark brown background and an image which is not full width. These represent... Wait. We need to go back. Chapter 2. Did you want to roll the dice or no. search? I want artifacts. Because they sound cool. Okay. I want to fly across the, the map. innate traits of your hero. Yeah. Specialty and do you want artifacts? No. <sighs> or do you want to roll the dice? Are we trying to break the game, or are we trying to have a good time? Yes. <laughs> Alex can break the game. No, no. So they I'm they have set this up to be broken. Already. If Well, I don't know how. So I actually, uh, based on what the artifacts did in the video game, 
randomly in there, shuffled. There are some fucked up things in the game that would break the game on turn one. And so, if you got it. And so, like, if he just randomly draws the top two and gets one of the uber-powerful ones, I don't know how game-breaking that is. I'm curious at how game-breaking it is, so why don't we do it? Let's do it. Okay. 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 So, Joe wants to search the artifact deck uh, twice. This is the artifact deck. And nice. because these are upside down, I'm going to give you these two. Do you want to search or roll? Uh, Let's have you roll. We're going to give sure. you a handicap. That's fine. So you roll two dice. Roll it on the green screen cam just to see if I got that set up. Okay, you could choose either six monies or two Valuable. valuables. Uh, I'm going to take the valuables. Okay, two valuables. Here you go. And then, Joe, uh, that's can you gross. Show, can you show? Do chat? you know what a speculum is? Can you? You should Google search what a screen? speculum is. I don't really want to. No, you should. This is, seems like something OJ would have at home. What's the other thing that you didn't choose? Oh. <laughs> so Joe can either have a speculum or a targ of the rampaging ogre. That sounds way cooler. That was a re very good shield. Uh, I don't know what. And it which does. one did you choose, Joe? I'm going to go with uh, the tile. The speculum? Yep. You're saying that you want a speculum? Yep. Okay. Okay. Is that a powerful thing, Alex? Speculum is one of the worst things in the whole game. I don't know what it does in this game, but I'm like, you would never want How about these two? Dragon scale, armor, shield of the dwarven... Dwarven Lords, the, that armor is one of the best magic casts. Or no, the Dragon Skull armor was like plus four attack, plus four defense. It's very fucking good. It was. I don't know that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Here it's plus uh, two attack or plus two defense. Joe, um, do you want the Dragon Scale armor? Yeah. Okay. Let's I'm going to give it. you the Dragon Scale armor anyway in testing to see if we can break the game. Okay. And he searches twice or just. The search two I gave is him two, okay. two cards, and then he chooses one. Okay. It, and I didn't find that anywhere in the rules, but it makes sense, and somebody in chat uh, said that. So just just so we're understanding that we're going off that. Okay, let's go. It'll probably say it here in these videos for I sure. I hope so. Cards look like ability cards, but they depict a specific one of the game's heroes in their bottom left corner, and they belong strictly to that hero. Hmm. And statistic cards, which are your basic attacks and powers, have the black background. Yeah, I got those five decks here. In setup, each player will make a starting deck of nine might and magic cards. Okay. First, find the three specialty cards which depict your hero. Okay. You are who, Joe? Solomir. Solomir, uh, the well, wizard. There's no name on here. What does he look like? Looks like a blue genie. Okay, that should be easy. He's in his Arnold pose, too. Yes. Okay, I've got these three, but I didn't see you anywhere here. Uh, you're not in this game. What? There's, oh. but why? Chain Lightning? No, because Solomir's the only guy who starts Chain Lightning. Why does it... But it says there's only... 18 specialty cards, and these are all 18. Maybe they Three, part of the four, Kickstarter thing five, is they six, included seven, more eight, nine, ten, eleven, specialty 12, cards with more heroes. 15, 16, 17, yeah, you're probably right. They added heroes, and what y'all did is y'all picked heroes from an expansion. Perhaps. If Solomir wasn't part of the main game, people would fucking riot. All right, so but where are not. the fortresses? I'm pr they probably threw them in because they knew people would riot. There are dozens of us who are passionate about this game still, and they all speak Russian, but dozens of us. Oh, There's yeah, so here's some more. So we got that guy, this chick. There's even more artifacts, Crest of Valor, Scales of the Greater Basilisk, mm -hmm. Recanter's Cloak, Ooh, Sword of the Profile. All right, but let's go look for... If you ever wanted to piss off your friends, you equip the Recanter's Cloak. Can't cast spells between levels one and three, and everyone likes to. It completely nullifies, uh, you know, the magic portion. Right. Yeah. It's not even in this one. <laughs> Chat, do you know? Okay, it's tower well, stretch goals because it, is tower. It, cause yeah. Why? What about tower? His Here's town's Inferno. called tower. His town's Here's called tower. Here's rampart. Here is 
tower and stretch goals. This has got to be it. So tower, tower probably got added to the game, and I got the spe I got the all in shit. So that's probably what's up. It added more factions. Maybe there's only like four factions in the main game, and then you get more factions as you go along. Okay, we got some blue. That's me. I told you, I love this game and I speak Russian. <laughs> You're just saying that. Say something in Russian. Russians love this game. Russians, Poles. They're not in, it's not in here either. Oh, wait, there's some more. Oh, I found you. Chain Lightning. Joe, you guys so cool. Yeah, he is. Hell what yeah. does your guy look like? Uh, a skeleton loser. with a, a hood on, and it's a cloak of the undead king. You were in the base game. People liked you. Sandra's been in... I don't know about the later ones, but he was in all of the early... He was one of the characters that always carried over. Okay. All right. The specialty slot on your hero card also tells you which cards these were. First, find the three specialty cards which depict your hero. Oh, it's Resurrection. The specialty slot on your hero card also tells you which cards these Resurrection are. might suck in this game. Who knows? At this point, you'll add only the level one card to your deck. Okay, add only level the level four one. and level six cards are set off to the side. Set off you'll to the side. You'll gain them when your hero levels up to those levels. Cool. Secondly, look through all of the ability cards until you find one which matches your hero's starting ability. Okay, y'all tell me sorcery. your ability. Sorcery. Wisdom. Here's sorcery. Here's sorcery. And I have wisdom. Then take statistic cards which match your statistic row. So this cleric would take one attack card, two power cards, and two knowledge cards. Cool. Okay, I like it. Uh, I have zero, zero, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm definitely a power. Power and two knowledge. What are you? One attack. One attack. Two uh, knowledge, two power. Two knowledge, two power. What are you, Joe? Um, I am uh, two knowledge. Is that knowledge? Yeah. No. Three power. No, two power. Yeah, three knowledge. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> two power. Power, power. And we have a problem. <laughs> Stretch goals include more, hopefully. <laughs> To knowledge. So, yeah, it was probably balanced for the characters that came in the pack. And then since Joe had the genie that came in the other thing, then you had to go into here. And get what, what do you need? One knowledge? Yep. Oh, yeah. Here's some more power and knowledge. Here's knowledge. Okay. Heroes of might will tend more towards attack and defense. Heroes of magic will tend more towards... I'm a hero of magic. What are you? Do you have the Do you have the hat? Yep. Do you have the hat? All yep. right, we're all heroes of magic. Go through the magic will tend more towards knowledge and power. Finally, go through the spell deck. If you are a hero of magic, you will take two magic arrow spells. Okay, there's not going to be enough. I'm going to probably have to grab one more. Two magic arrows. Oh, here's chain lightning. Magic arrow, magic arrow, magic arrow, magic arrow. Okay. If you are a hero of might, you'll take only one. Mm. Once you're done, you'll have nine cards, which you shuffle up into a face-down draw stack. Don't draw any cards. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shovel them. Don't draw any. That's not how you shuffle, Joe. Get the best ones up top. <laughs> if people aren't looking at you, sure, the sound that you're making. <laughs> yeah, trust him. Just, just trust him. It's fine. From this hand, you'll draw your first hand at the start of your first turn. What? Does his dragon skull armor get shuffled into his deck too? Uh, he said nine. No, that was something that was in uh, video one. So just set it aside. Maybe it does go in his in his. Yeah, maybe. Artifacts and abilities into face down draw deck. Oh wait. Shuffle the remaining spells, artifacts, oh, no. and abilities into face down draw deck. I think it, yeah, it goes into your into your deck, Joe. Put that dragon scale into your deck and reshuffle. Shuffle the remaining spells, artifacts, and abilities into face down draw deck, and then flip the top card of each into a face up discard pile, so that you know which deck represents which type of cards. Oh fuck off! Unused specialties what? and statistics can be returned to the box. Specialties and statistics. Throughout the game, players will primarily get new spells by buying them from their mage guild or by visiting magical shrine. By buying them from their mage guild or by visiting magical shrine. Joe, pay attention! I'm looking for my shrine. Artifacts often come by finding them in treasure chests or looting them from the fallen. And new abilities mostly come by leveling up your hero. Most often when you gain a new card to your deck, the game will tell you to search a certain number, usually two. When you search a certain number, take that many cards from the top of the relevant deck, look at them, choose one you wish to keep and discard the rest, or take the top card from the discard pile. When gained, a new card is always added directly to your hand. There are some cards which are limited to a specific faction. If you were to find this card through searching, you wouldn't be able to take it unless you were the Necropolis faction. If the discard pile is ever empty, flip a new card face up from the top. Shuffle sure this. Finally, if an effect ever tells you to remove a card, then return it to the box, completely out of play. As you add stronger cards to your deck, you'll often try to remove the weaker cards. To As you add card, then Finally, if an effect ever tells you to remove a card, then return it to the box, completely out of play. As you add stronger cards to your deck, you'll often try to remove the weaker card. Cool, it's a deck builder. Free the board game. For a fight. Fact, so is his armor in his hand or in his deck? It's in his deck. We haven't in drawn heroes anything. Of Might and Magic 3, you are but he did. Okay. Let it go. The faction as you explore the lands of Antigara. As you explore, you'll discover new tiles, discover new resources, level up your hero, and fight combats against enemies, both neutral ones that are set by the game, and the units and heroes of your opposing players. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is a scenario-based game, and each scenario will have its own map and its own victory conditions. There are four different types of scenario. In a clash, all players are fighting against each other to be the one who meets the victory condition. The campaign is a solo mode. You'll play interconnected scenarios against an AI controlled by the game. An alliance scenario is a two versus two team mode. And in a co-op scenario, all players fight for the same goal. Yeah, we probably should have done co -op. In this video, we're showing you Brave New World. A two or three player clash scenario. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And here it's the first player who can find and flag five mines, or whoever's flagged the most mines after nine rounds will be the mines. Winner. Guys, we're looking for mines on the board. Five mines. Explosions. No, not that kind of mine. Track on the round track. <laughs> I found one. My legs. Landmine is a spell. <laughs> and landmines do surround your castle. With the your castle, only your castle. All players out of each of these 
Odd numbered rounds are called resource rounds. And at the start of each of these, with the exception of round one, round one, one. all players gain Back. resources equal to their positions on the income tracks. Okay, that's what you get. Numbered rounds are astrologers rounds, and at the start of each. Whoa! Draw an astrologer an card. card. And resolve it for all players. Resolve this for will all be a players. a small positive or negative effect. We got the friendly beaver. Now, if you use your speculum. What <laughs> friendly beaver? Wait a minute, what was that? What was that? Joe, have you ever done anything with the friendly beaver? The zombie beavers. You don't want to fuck with zombie beavers. Zombie beavers. <laughs> round and resolve them now. After these initial steps, players resolve actions. There are three different types of actions. And these dictate when and how you're able to take each. There are movement actions. These involve moving, discovering new tiles, resolving locations, and combat. There are town actions. Tracked by these tokens, these represent constructing and using the buildings in your town. And there are morale actions, which are small actions where you can use a morale token to manage your deck or re-roll dice. Okay. So knowing that these three types of actions exist, Do we start with this that? is how the sequence of a round works out. Each player has a single turn, starting from the first player and going clockwise around the table. You didn't tell us to. To begin your turn, you may discard any number of cards from your hand to your discard pile, and then draw from the top of your deck up to your current hand limit. Your hero's hand limit is set by its level, so it begins the game at 4 and can increase to as high as 7. If you begin this phase above your hand limit, then you must at least discard down to that hand limit. Then during your turn, and only during your turn, you'll spend movement points to take movement actions. Mm, do we need Once you've taken many... all movement actions, or as many as you wish to take, play will pass to the next player who deals with their cards. Meanwhile, at okay. any point during the round, except for during a combat, you have access to take your three town actions. That means you can do these on your turn or on another player's turn. Your three town actions are build, population, and spells. And you may take each of them once per round. If you're familiar with the video game, do note that your hero does not need to be in your town to take town actions. Finally, a player who has a morale token may spend it at any time during a round, including during combat, to take a morale action. In this way, you've got the ability to reduce some downtime, taking your town actions while someone else... Okay, is yeah, so we all get one and then three. So here's your three movement. And your one morale. Here's your three movement and your one morale. And here's my three movement and one morale. And actions. And also an even chance to use town actions to prepare for a battle against a player earlier in turn order. Once all players have finished taking turns, Check the victory conditions to see whether anyone has won. If not, proceed to the start of the next round. And that's the overview and look about town. Hello and welcome to the... In this video, we'll be taking you... Hello everyone. ...actions represented by these... Okay, so... Going over here now. I'll go first. At the start of your turn, you become the active player, and you may discard from your hand as many cards as you want. Then you may draw up the cards up to your hand limit. So our hand limit is four. So I'm going to draw four cards. Don't y'all draw yet. It's only on your turn. One, two, three, four. Which you probably should be able to draw, but hold on. That's what the guy said. Don't draw yet. Okay. And then, so I have four. You can check your current limit by looking at your level tracker. Over the course of the game, may execute a variety of actions. Town, morale, or movement. Well, I'd say we move. So I'm going to take some movement. 
Your heroes can move any number of times during your turn, provided you have enough MP, movement points. For every one MP, you can perform one of the following actions. Move a hero up to one field in any direction. Okay, I will go this direction for one MP. And I will take this movement token that you see right here, and I'll flip it over. Okay. Uh, continue combat against neutral units for one additional round. That's a movement point. Or discover a covered map tile if the hero is on a field next to that map tile. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go there. Or place a new map tile from your pool of far map tiles. Interesting. So I guess I could have gone this way and gone two to three. I think these are like the level of enemies, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd probably want to do a two to three before I fucking get my ass kicked uh, and go the other way. So I'll go here to do the two to three. Placement you can do anywhere? Does it have to be touching the center? Good question on placement. Let's find out. Okay, so that would have been my second move action, but let's see how to place those tiles. See page 19 for how to place those tiles. Okay. Map tile placement. You can add map tiles to the map only if they are adjacent to both your hero and at least two other tiles. Okay. Got it. Um, new tiles must also be positioned so that there is a valid path that joins them with the other tiles. This means that while you may place blocked fields next to each other, there must be a valid path or way to reach the added tile from any other map tile. You may rotate the map tile when placing them as you see fit. So I couldn't go into that one because that, that's blocked all around, but I can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what happens? You're on a shrine so you can get spells. I went into a shrine. Got it. Um, shrine of Map Incantation category vis visitable. You may pay three gold to search to the spell deck. That's what that says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three gold to search the spell deck. All right. I guess so. I I got a bunch of gold from. Well, we had to start in gold. And then. I never got my my resource. Roll. Six gold. Yeah, six gold. So that's... This is ten. This is one. Three and three. Okay, so it said pay three to search the spell deck, which I take two and choose one. Chain lightning? Oh, you got it. It's mine! And then Can you use it? what happens? It probably goes into a discard. Or so there was a rule, that there's something that I read that said anytime the game tells you to search, the item goes into your hand, ah. which is why I was asking about cool. his armor. Okay. Yeah, well, see, he started the game with his armor, so I'm, I don't know. It just said anytime the game says search, put it, it goes to your hand. Then it's in your hand, Joe. Pull it out of your deck and reshuffle. Unless it was already in your hand, and then draw another card. Oh, you, you, oh, you already, didn't draw any cards, yeah. He hasn't drawn because I was like, yeah. don't draw anything yeah. until it's your turn, but that's mainly procedure. Mark the amount of MP you use by flipping the movement tokens <laughs> over to the brown side. We'll find the content. Fuck Forrest, thanks so much that. for the biddies. And is Go visiting on. a shrine a movement action? Or is that something free you get to do? Uh, well, I moved, and so as long as you're in the tile, uh, yeah, we need to figure that out. I don't know what. So what's interesting is that most of the time we're going to need. Oh, I know what I'll do. So this is where all my badass cameras come into play. So here's, here's the world. The world this of is numbers. This is the over the world cam. Somewhat. <laughs> okay, 
Netflix. We're probably going to need to move things, but yeah. All right. Uh, I have one more movement point. There's plus three gold here. Uh, flip one resource and a question mark. That usually reveals map to map tiles in the game, so I don't know. A question this. mark? No, the watchtower. It like shows you nearby darkness, so I don't know if what it does here. Darkness. All right, well, let's go to the game thing, and let's see what they have to say about town actions, because I might want to also do some Token. town actions. These are build, population, and spells. You'll flip these three tokens face up at the beginning of each round. You can perform each of the town actions once per round. You can do it on your own turn or on another player's turn, even just before but not during combat. After performing a town action, flip the respective token. You cannot use that action again until the start of the next round. You may use each action once per round, flipping the token over when you do so. And you may do this at any time on your turn oh, or right now. on another player's turn, except during combat. Okay. We'll see what it does. This means you can take the action right after combat has been declared, but not once the first steps of combat have been resolved. When you, when you take the build action, you may construct a single building. Oh. Choose a building whose name and cost is visible. Pay that cost. Mm. Then take the matching building token and place it into its slot. In the case of these double building tiles, you may end up flipping it over instead. A constructed building is represented by an icon in a circle. If it's a star, this represents a dwelling and can be used to house combat units of the equivalent tier. For all other buildings, the icons can be seen in this attention, description Joe. area down the bottom of your town board. City Hall, Citadel, and Mage Guild are common to all factions, although they do slightly different things. Your other two buildings will be completely unique to your faction. The second town action is Population. When you take this, you can do any of the following steps as many times as you want and can afford, as long as you have the appropriate prerequisite building. You may recruit new units, as long as you have the prerequisite dwelling which matches that tier of unit. Pay the recruitment cost shown in the bottom left of the card and place it on its few side. You may reinforce a unit, which flips it over from its few side to its pack side. To reinforce, you must have built your citadel, and you pay the reinforcement cost shown in the bottom right-hand side of the card. To level up, you need a, a citadel. A reinforced unit will have this holographic glow on that side of the card. Do note, you're limited to a single card for each unit type, which will be either a few or a pack. Thirdly, for 10 gold, you may recruit your secondary hero. In setup, you will have chosen either your hero. hero of might or your hero of magic as your main hero, and that's the hero whose mini will currently be on the board. When you recruit this secondary hero, take the other mini and place it into your town or into a settlement you control. A secondary hero gives you more capacity to take movement actions on your turn. Oh, but we'll talk more about that in the coming chapters. So, in summary, how do you get the secondary hero? Action, Ten gold. You may, in any combination, as long as you can afford it, recruit or reinforce units, or recruit your secondary hero. The last town action is to purchase spells. You must have constructed your mage guild for this to be an option. And on the turn that you construct the mage guild, you'll have to automatically flip over your spellbook, because you generally get an immediate reward for building it. As such, the first time you can take this town action is in the next round after constructing your mage guild. To take this action, flip your spellbook, pay the indicated amount of gold, and then do a search two of the spell deck. The remaining buildings have a variety of effects, mostly resolving either at the beginning of a round or during your turn. Can't build shit, right? Because... For the details. 
Because they've got all these special resources. Throughout the game, players will be impacted by either positive or negative morale. The exception is the player playing as the Necropolis faction. Since you command the army, God damn it, Alex. Players, the powers of morale are already beyond you. The game has a single morale token for each applicable player. So maybe Alex doesn't get the morale token. Possible states of morale. Positive, neutral, maybe. or mm. negative. When you gain positive morale, you either go from negative to neutral or from neutral to positive. If you were already positive, then you stay where you were. You may spend this token going back to neutral at any time to do one of three morale actions. These are to draw a card from your deck or to discard any number of cards from your hand and redraw the same number or to re-roll any die after it's just been rolled. If you gain negative morale, you either go from positive to neutral or neutral to negative. If your morale is already negative, then you must discard all cards from your hand and end your turn immediately. And that is town and morale actions in. Okay, so if we look over here, um, none of these buildings, Joe, uh, anybody, none of us can buy. Because we only have two, two, and I, I don't mind. ten. How much was yours? Four coins, two uh, the resources, and one gem. Oh wow! That build. So I guess our prices are different. Building costs are going to be different depending on your what well, faction. Oh, I this. Imagine. Oh, I guess I could build a mage guild. Is that what you build, Joe? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I guess I build a mage guild. So two stone down to zero, one. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it is one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then four coins. You can have a three so and a one. Since we built it, we get to. So you flip the, the build token, the and then you put this here, and I guess now with it. Well, how do I know which is which? Mage. It should just be the mage symbol up top, not the double. Like that? Yep. Yeah, you so want that one? It says mana vortex. Yeah, because you haven't paid for your mana vortex. It's sh still showing you what it costs. Then we get two of the. Two artifacts? spell. Do you or get the spells? You get them right away? Yeah, wind belt, yeah. search twice. Yeah. Search two twice. Wind belt, search. Did you do that? No, I was waiting. Okay. Well, I can't use this one. You can't. Though those, are, those aren't spells. Those are abilities. Sorry. Give me those. <laughs> two spells. There you go. I have done. My two spells. Are you gonna do one, Joe or Alex? No. And you put put them in your hand. Yeah, I thought I saw. I mean, you should verify, but I read that when it says do the search function, it goes to your hand, and you do it twice. Well, his says do it twice. Does yours say do it twice? No, the twice. Search two twice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to pick one from yeah. the first group. I'm gonna go. With this one and oh, I'm gonna go with lightning bolt. Wait, do I show? I don't know. Don't matter. <laughs> you probably don't show, but I mean, this is this isn't one where I think we're gonna be fighting each other very much. Watch me. The heroes of Might and Magic Three: The Board Game. In our next chapter, we'll take you through player turns, including locations and second. Hello and welcome to the fifth in our videos. Why well, you gotta break it up like this? Just go. And then draw up to your current hand limit. If you began with more cards than your hand limit, you might have two heroes on the map to your hand limit. You may have either one or two heroes on the map. By default, your main hero has three movement points to spend, and your secondary hero has two. Loosely speaking, each movement point lets you move one field or discover a new type. When you move, move the hero to an adjacent visible field. Each map tile has seven different fields on it. You can't enter a map tile which is not yet been revealed. 
and you can't move through Oops. one of these thick yellow lines, meaning that a field like this can never be entered. I think you can, so as long you as you're exploring. You can move into so. a field with an allied hero, but cannot end your turn there. Hmm. After each movement, you interact with the destination field. And note as well, you can activate a movement point to not move anywhere, but interact with the field you're currently standing in. When you interact with an empty field, nothing happens. Oh. If a field shows a Roman numeral between 1 and 7, then that field is guarded by neutral units of that level. And you'll have to first win a combat against no. those neutral units before you can visit the location behind. The higher the numeral, the more difficult the combat. And I'll come back and talk about combats in Chapter 7. If you enter a field with another player's hero, then you'll have to fight that player. And if you enter another player's hometown, you'll fight combat against that town. After resolving any combats, if necessary, you may visit the location. Locations are represented by these icons and these images. And the rulebook contains a full list of all of the different locations by their image. I won't cover them one by one, but they can all be broken down into three main categories. Visitable, flaggable, and revisitable. A visitable location represents a once-off bonus to the first player who finds it. This water wheel, for example, gives three gold to the player who finds it. Mm. After resolving any visitable location, place a black cube on the space. Uh -huh. Aha! It's now this treated is, as if visible. it were an empty field. If the black cube is ever removed through some effect, then it becomes visitable. Yes, again. the third, sixth, and ninth round. these locations, you might find resources, cards, treasure, or random resources, which you resolve with a die roll, the opportunity to make exchanges, and more. Anything which can't be easily represented by icons has a question mark showing, and you'll go to the rule book to determine exactly what it means. Oh, okay. A flaggable location is one where a player maintains <gasps> ongoing claim to... Oh, the that's right. We're looking for mines. Often these are locations which increase a player's income or need oh, to be shit, held a mine way over here. conditions. Or, or, I don't know if when that's a mine. A flaggable location, Fuck, it's a mine. Mark it with one of your faction-colored cubes. If it has an income benefit, mark that on your town board. There is also often an immediate benefit for the first player to flag a given location. Oh, go you guys didn't spend out of this, did you? I'm going to go, yeah. Because th this is income, not starting. Need to fight a so. with the board, simply replace the other player's flagging cube with your own. Pull those uh, things out. Take my money back. And we'll just redraw. And I can't do this. Potentially, I can't do that. But I do want to probably go over here for the mine instead. When you lose a flag location, you also lose the income it provided. The third location type is revisitable. And you can get the same effect from that location any time you visit it. For example, this location is the trading house, letting you buy or sell resources for the ratios shown on page 36. Other than that, we'll leave you to read the particulars of all of the different locations for yourselves. The other main way you can spend a movement point is to discover or place a new map type. Oh. To discover a tile, your hero must be adjacent to a face down that tile, and you flip it face up, rotating it in whichever orientation suits you best. To place a map tile, choose one of the map tiles that were dealt into your pool at the start of the game, and then place that in such a way that it is adjacent to at least two previously placed map tiles, and adjacent to your hero, and align such that the whole tile is still accessible, not blocked out by one of these impassable fields. And that's how to take a turn in Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the board game. In the next chapter, we'll take you through playing cards and leveling up heroes. Thanks so much. All right, so we'll go flaggable. Uh, I'm going to go this way instead, moving this direction into the mine. 
uh oh, there's a level one. So if I interact, I guess we'll have to fight. Um, if you capture a mine that has not been previously owned by any player, it immediately moves, provides you with income. Okay, or mine gold settlements. Um, or mine building material. That's an ore mine building material. So much for watching. You there? Hello and welcome to the sixth after all this video. Bathroom. Of Might and Magic Three, your game. And in this on the level of your hero. How or when you play a card depends on which of these four icons appears at the start of the effect. That character looked like he had a list. A lightning bolt effect may be played at any time. Combat, your turn, or another what? player's turn. Hold on, I had something in my Although, mind. note that there are four some cards of these effects which are only relevant during combat. Resolve the card's effect Magical. and then discard it. A map effect may be resolved at any time except during combat. Like the immediate cards, resolve it and then discard it. An effect with the arrow is resolved specifically during an activation in combat. We'll talk more about the timing for that in Chapter 7. But like the others, you resolve the effect and then discard it. Lastly, an ongoing effect is played during one of your unit's activations, either on the map or in combat, and remains in effect either until it expires or until the start of your next turn. Only once it expires do you discard it. Every statistic and ability card has two effects separated by a crown, and these are called the basic effect and the expert effect. You may choose which half you resolve, but the maximum number of expert effects you're allowed to resolve in each round is based on the current level of your hero. This will start the game at zero and increase to as high as three once you reach level six. When you increase your level, you gain that new expert point to use from this round onwards. Each artifact card also has two options on it, however these are not split into basic and expert. You may freely choose which of the two you wish to play. When you cast a spell for its spell effect, there are three possible outcomes, and it depends how much power you put behind that spell. You can gain power by discarding other cards which give you power. So for example, if I played the cure spell by itself, I would heal one damage. If I also discarded one power, I'd heal two damage. And discarded two power, I'd heal three damage. Every spell card allows you to discard it to gain one power on a different spell. Do be aware, when using spells in combat, you're limited to a single spell per round of combat, but we'll cover that more in Chapter 7. The strength of your deck is very much entwined with the level of your hero. Any effect which grants you this icon allows you to move up one half step on your level track. When you reach or pass any of these top steps, then you have increased your level. As soon as you level up to either level 4 or level 6, take the specialty card of the corresponding level which you set aside during setup and add it directly to your hand. When you level up to any one of the other levels, do a search of 2 from the ability deck, again adding the chosen card straight to your hand. Magic three. Board game for videos. All right, I'm going into combat. Combat plays a significant role in Heroes of Might and Magic 3, and there are three ways that one of your heroes can initiate combat. If you enter a field containing Roman numerals, yes. then you'll fight combat against neutral units. I'm going to fight him. Enter a field with an opposing player's hero. Oh, and shit. You'll fight against that player's hero. Oh, unit. sweet. Or enter an opposing player's town and you'll lay siege to that town. Holy fuck. We'll talk about combat with neutral units first. First, check your hero's current level. I'm level one. If the neutral unit's level is lower than this, then they no. flee and you win immediately. Oh, no. This is called a quick combat. Cool. If the neutral units are equal or higher, then equal. you'll have to fight. I'll fight. Before going any further, this is your last chance to use town actions to bolster your units. Oh, let me do Once that. Once that's done, you'll take at most five of your available unit cards, choose one side of the combat board, 
and place each of them into a different space in your Oh, do I have to have units first level. before I well, I start with now, two units. Now based on okay. the level of the encounter and the fee Okay, let me see real quick. What's the town action with the hash mark thing? Populate. All right, let me see what populated. Population token used to recruit and reinforce units. See page 26 for units. Um, you can add... Uh, Every faction has access to seven different units, each with different stats. Although you usually start the game flipped to the few side, you can reinforce to flip to the pack side. All players get their own deck of recruited units. You may never have more than five units at a time on a combat board. If the unit is defeated in combat, remove it from the deck. After combat, return the surviving units to their deck. Okay. You can add a removed unit to your deck by recruiting it again. Uh, recruiting and reinforcing units requires using the population token to expand your army. When you do so, you can instantly recruit and reinforce any number of times, provided you have enough resources. Remember to flip the population token when you're done expanding your army. You will be able to use it again. Okay, so what can I do right now? Each faction has seven different units to recruit. Each unit has two separate costs on their card. The recruitment cost with the hand and the money and the reinforcement card. But we can't reinforce unless we have the Citadel built, right? And you can't recruit until you build their structures. And you can't recruit until you build what? The structures. What structure? So uh, what's it called? Mushroom Rings builds your troglodytes, your, um, right? Huh? There's a building that you have called Mushroom Rings or something. No. Bronze Star on the top of somewhere. No. What are the names of your buildings? Warrens, Man of Vortex. Warrens. Warrens is how you recruit troglodytes. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I need three resources, and I don't have three resources. So I'm just going to go into combat with my, um, with my current two guys. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. And it's just one bronze that you're fighting. Level one, one bronze. Team chose at the start of the scenario. Determine which neutral unit card you'll draw for this combat. Give those cards to the player who is before you in turn order. That player is going to control your enemy and must now set up the cards on the back two rows of their side of the board in the same way. Except that all ranged units must go in the back row if possible. Whoever initiated the combat is called the attacker, if possible. In the same way. Now in the this same combat. way. Give those cards to the player who is before you in turn order. That player is going to control your enemy and must now set up the cards on the back two rows of their side of the board in the same way. Except that all ranged units must go in the back row, if possible. Evil eyes are ranged units. Whoever initiated the, the combat guy. is called the attacker. And will have access to the might and magic cards in their hands to resolve the combat. The neutral <coughs> units are defending, and although your opponent is going to control the units, they will not use their own cards or powers in the combat. They'll use only the neutral units. Combat is played in rounds, and in each round, each unit on the battlefield will have the chance to activate once, unless it's killed before its activation. Units activate in initiative order, from highest to lowest number. Mm. And if tied, you'll go back and forward, starting with the attacker. Uh, so this five, five, would begin three. With the Griffins at nine, then the rogues at six, the zealots at five. You're so dead. And for the three units at four, the attackers would choose one, then the defender's skeletons, and then the remaining attacker's unit. Attackers go first. When you activate a unit, mark it with one of your faction-colored cubes to show it's been activated. I activate the evil eyes. When a unit activates, it may move and attack. And you can bolster that activation by playing might and magic cards from your hand. <coughs> as long as they have relevant, immediate, ongoing, or activation abilities on them. You cannot play cards with a map effect. And be aware that you're limited to a single spell card per combat round. That is, for the entire activation of all of your units, only one spell may be one played. One spell. How a unit moves or attacks depends on its class. We'll go Ground units, represented by this icon, 
can move up to three spaces orthogonally through empty spaces and then attack an adjacent unit. Okay. A flying unit, indicated by this icon, also moves up to three spaces orthogonally but can move through other cards as long as it ends on an empty space and then can likewise attack an adjacent enemy. A ranged unit, indicated by this icon, activates in the opposite order. It attacks first and may target any enemy unit on the board. Oh, shit. And then may move up to one space orthogonally. Well, then I'm going to activate evil unit loses eyes. the ability to target anywhere on the board if it is adjacent to any enemy units. Oh. In such case, it must target an adjacent enemy. Okay, nobody's adjacent to me. Upon declaring an attack on an enemy unit... I declare one attack one on Joe. chance to play any instant effect cards from your hand. Instant effect cards. Play this card after casting a spell. No. Plus one something. I don't know if I need this, so I'm not going to spend Peasants it. are the weakest thing in the entire game. They've got two hit points. Okay, I don't need it. The attacker now rolls one attack die. Okay. This die has an equal distribution of values between negative one and positive one. Oh, lame. If the attacker is a ranged unit attacking from its back row to the opposing back row, or is a ranged unit attacking an adjacent unit, then it suffers a combat penalty. No, the no combat roll penalty. Two attack dice and choose the lesser of the two results. Okay. Determine your attack value, which is equal to this number on the unit's card. Damn it! Plus whatever you rolled on the die. Plus the bonuses from any other cards or effects which might occur. So, my evil eyes fired uh, lasers at you. It has uh, swords of three minus one, so swords of two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Suppose here no cards were played, so the attack value is three. Deduct the defender's defense value represented by this shield. So here it's one. And deal the balance. You have zero. Wounds, two. If the unit has as much or more damage than its total damage value, then it's defeated. It's dead. Remove it from the board and discard it. I killed the peasants. If it's not defeated and ha -ha, it's you adjacent suck. to the unit which made the attack, they were Joe sucks. Now you went in and Each killed farmers. Even if it's attacked multiple times. And so you mark the retaliation with a black cube. These follow exactly the same rules. The retaliator will roll the die. Determine the attack value. So, no retaliation one. necessary. Deduct the original attacker's defense. Here it's also one. And deal damage. In this case, zero. That's then the end of the exchange. The original attacker does not get to retaliate again. Neutral unit activations are resolved in the same way. And it's the player who has control of those units who decides what happens. Joe With got killed. Stipulations. That unit must attack one of the enemy units if possible and, if not possible, must at least advance towards an enemy unit. Mm -hmm. This prevents the player from simply retreating all of the neutral units to string mm -hmm. the battle out. Mm -hmm. However, as long as you meet these requirements, you can do whatever you want, and you're not required to attack the nearest enemy if you have another option. Mm -hmm. Like the neutral units, each attacking unit gets one chance to retaliate per round. If a player's unit pack ever has more wounds than its health, do you get the chance to retaliate? To its few but you're, he's further away, so excess damage. he wouldn't have retaliated. If a few think. side unit yeah. is ever defeated, it's removed from battle and returned to your pile of unrecruited units. Unrecruited you units. Population action if you want to recruit it for future battles. Ooh. I could have lost some units. Once each unit remaining on the field has had its primary activation, the round of combat is over. When fighting against neutral units, you only get one round of combat for free. And at this point, if you haven't defeated all of the enemy units and get you to don't spend more movement. continue, then your action is over and you don't get to visit the location. But if you want to keep the combat going and play another combat round, then the hero that initiated the combat cool. must spend another movement point. Okay. You'll clear all of the activation cubes off the units, mm -hmm. proceed keep, again in keep the damage, order, and have the chance to play another spell in this new round. Mm -hmm. Then keep playing rounds in this way until you've either won the combat by defeating all of the neutral units, mm -hmm. lost the combat by losing all of your own units, 
ended the combat by not paying a movement point to prolong it, or chosen to retreat, which you may do at any time. So you couldn't even you could it was impossible for you to lose. You automatically went on turn one no matter what you do. Why? Because your trogs also hit for three. Three minus one is two. You kill them no matter what. Cool. I'm glad. I, I'm glad Joe drew the pre peasants. Unit peasants. Unit between combat, unless the unit was killed. Beer. If you win, you may now visit the location and gain experience. Well, you never one told me what to do with the card of the, the fucking bad guy. The discard pile. Discard. Let's did. assume it's a discard. We don't know yet. <laughs> If the enemy's level was higher, if you defeat an Azure unit, then your level goes all the way up to seven in one go. Jesus Christ. You can't retreat from a battle with an Azure unit. I did not defeat an Azure unit. You spend extra movement points to play more than one round. Ooh, player versus player. If you enter a field with an opponent's hero, then you'll fight that player in much a similar way. First, the attacker declares and places up to five of their units, then the defender. If the player's main hero is the one engaged in the combat, then that player may use the cards from their main I think you should shuffle hand. the deck. If it's the player's secondary so hero, Joe has an opportunity then that player to fight plays the with units only, no cards. Unlike a neutral... Alright, we're not doing player versus players, we don't need this. Then if the player wishes to play any unit... That looks like a siege. There's a lot of peasants in the the low level deck. Oh yeah. So I think it's a. I don't know. I'm. We're not 100 percent sure. Okay. Well, um. I think it would be the only thing so far that's just shuffled back into the deck. Okay, so now I can interact with it, which was I want to build a mine. You just flag the mine, so you put your little thing on it. I put a flag, and then increase. does the flag not cost anything? Flagging something this increased by. Two, but if you look here, it goes by two, so I only go up one level. Okay, so if we see that over here, um, because I got a mine, I got this mine right here. Cool. All right. Um, it's in defense as well. Yeah. That player must. Do we already see Hello, the, welcome to the sixth in our playing cards? Yeah, we did. There's only Hello, ten. Welcome to the seventh in our you video sure? series on how Yeah. But if you want to keep the combat at any time. Fuck it, I guess we'll just listen to the no We'll listen the to the hero, hero is the one engaged in the combat, then that player may use the cards from their might and magic hand. First the attacker declares and places up to five of their units. Then the defender. If the player's main hero is the one engaged in the combat, Flag. then that player may use the cards from their might and magic hand. If it's the Your player's magic secondary hand? hero, then that player plays with units only, no cards. Unlike a neutral battle, a hero versus hero battle plays over multiple combat rounds without the need to spend extra movement points, and goes until one player has been either defeated or has surrendered. To surrender, you must pay your opponent 10 gold and then retreat your hero to a town or settlement you control. Fuck that, I ain't paying you. The mission book may also grant you a specific benefit for defeating another hero. If Rather you're defeated outright, pay. you'll pay your opponent <laughs> $2, gold, please. Fuck off. <laughs> Take my life. <laughs> Bury me with my money. Town, then that town is seized. That's fucked up, Joe. When it comes to trying to set up units, my body. the defender places three walls and one gate across the middle of the field, and takes the arrow tower card, which is placed off beside the board. Then, if the player wishes to play any I wasn't units paying attention, in defense as well, whatever. well, we'll go to this if we fight each other. Ongoing or specific power. So instead, we'll go do video eight. Hello, and welcome to the eighth in our. Rampart, Fortress, and Inferno. Oh, those were Rampart, those decks Fortress that I and bought. Inferno are expansions to Heroes oh. of Light and Magic 3. Well, none of us have these, so we're good. Among I mean, we we have them, but we didn't pick them. Normal position so let's the move on. Nine. Hello, and welcome to the ninth in our video series on how to play Heroes of And then this is the... Has two main modes, Adventure Mode and Skirmish Mode. Battlefield and we'll expansion. take you through the Adventure Mode first. The adventure mode of the game is played in two halves. In the Magic 3, you'll be going out on a detailed...
that version of the X hands and playing some simplified battles on this 4x5 combat grid. Oh, but it's just only one on one. The Battlefield expansion, which plays primarily as a one versus one game, oh. flips that script and gives you a simplified version of the exploration with a more detailed and tactical version of the battle. Well, that's cool, but uh, we're not playing two players, so we can skip that. Hello, and welcome to the 10th and final and video. And this is the solo campaign, so I think we've got it all done now. All right. We have learned. Okie dokie. Well, Joe's shaking his head no because he wasn't paying attention. Yes, Alex knows. I know. So don't worry about it, Joe. We got you. Okay. So, um... I basically went in this direction. Let me make some more room for the cards. I went in this direction, Joe. I got the mine. I fought a level one, and then I flagged it, and I went up by two resources. That means I'm going to go ahead and flip my movement token because I went over by one. Level up. Now. Right, get some experience because you beat something. I get experience? That's what he said. How do I, what do I go up by? Well, that was if I buy beat an Azure, it go to directly to level seven. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't. Mean but that. I don't know how much experience you get, so we'll worry about that later. And then uh, I'll go. I can either go to this treasure chest or this uh, mine. The treasure chest will allow you to roll a treasure die and can provide you with the following bonuses. Do you have enough movement? Yeah, I got sure. two more movements, so I can go one, two, or I can go one, two. So but I got the, enough movement. Do you have to? F oh, but the yeah, I've got two movement. Well, the, once you land on it, you have to move the movement. You'd have to flip it, it again. No, that's if you want to continue it. interacting with the tile in combat. Yeah, there was something in there that kind of confused mm -hmm. me, but I looked it up again, and it doesn't say that. So um, let's just assume it's like this. So we're going to go with a treasure, roll a treasure dice. That sounds fun. I'll roll the treasure dice. You have to fight something, so you might want to see how much experience ah, you have, because if you go to level two, you auto win. Okay, so let me look at the, uh, he never, hmm. Okay, well, let's look at the end of combat in the rule book, because that'll tell us whether we gain experience or not. But now we can put on some lovely music, and we can go, and we don't need these people no more. Okay, so, combat. Um, combat experience. When you defeat an enemy hero or neutral units, your main hero gains experience. Its amount depends on the difficulty of the encounter. If the effective field difficulty enemy hero level is lower than your main hero's level, you gain no experience. Well, it's not lower. If the effective field difficulty or enemy hero level is equal to your main hero's level, you gain one. I, I am at level one, and that was a one, so I gain one. Whoop. So I get one level. whole level? But you go down, How do you think right? you go down? Down and up. You gain one flag. If the effective is higher than your main, you gain two flag. Azur tier encounters immediately grant the seventh. The flag, isn't that where I... It's just one. Example, level five defeats an Ezra. No. You gain no experience from fighting an army that was transported. So I think you just go up one. Okay. So you're like. I'm a half level now, yeah. I think. That's how that works. Okay. So you're going to fight the thing? Do I want to go and fight another thing? Yeah, you're going to go with the treasure? Or you're going to go with the. The roll the dice. The, let's see. This is a treasure dice? Treasure. That's a... I think they called it a... No. That's a... That's a treasure yeah. dice. And yeah. then this is the resource dice. And this is the attack dice. So I would be rolling this. Uh, sure. Let's do it. Let's fight another battle. Huzzah! Huzzah! Let's go. What is it against? Herpes! Oh, no! oh shit. It's fucking her her herpes. It's dangerous. You keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Be here half of the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what is your herpes initiative, Joe? <coughs> uh, yeah, what is this? Yeah, put it Bottom on the one. green screen. Eight. Eight. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, fuck. Eight. You go first this time. Sweet. Now, I'm level. Two. I'm I'm initiative five. You Level's might beat four. up one of my peoples. 
Okay, so ignore so, the retaliation. Hold so on, you, let's let's do the combat right because we just set up. We just threw our cards out there. Who gets to fucking go first? Do you remember? It's like attacker has to set up first, perhaps. Neutral unit set up. Uh, when combat with neutral units is triggered, you must place freely up to five of your units on the back line and front line. So I have to go first. So boom. Yeah. And then you go. So you can do that. Okay, go, Joe. What are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to attack. All right, so what symbol is that? That is a uh, winged symbol. You look right here. Flying. You can move up to three spaces. Ignore combat obstacles. So it's orthogonically. So you can go right here if you want and attack him. Or you can go one, two, three to try to get over here. You haven't gotten over there nope. yet. So you just want to go four here. Yep. Okay, so uh, you moved. Now... Uh, now what? Do we fire? Uh, it attacks you. Combat so. ran order. The players activate their units in decreasing order. The activated unit may be moved a number of spaces. After that, the player may decide to attack a unit. Okay, so attack. Before attacking with a unit, decide if you want to use any ongoing or activation cards from nope. your hand. Well, you're not a player. Here, nope. take one of these uh, red dice and roll it on the green screen. Zero. So you add zero to two. And so you're doing two damage. To my troglodyte, uh, who has a defense of one. one. So one blocked and then one damage. And I have two health. So I guess he takes one. All right, and I'll move my guy back. And then he comes back. Because harpies have a special ability where after they attack, they go back and they don't get retaliated against. Mm -hmm. That's some bullshit. You have Who them too. They're your attack. creatures too. <laughs> they are? Yeah, Harpies is your level 2 unit. Oh, sweet. All right, well, I'm going to fire my evil eyes. Evil eyes. Fuck it's in. <laughs> fire, firing evil eyes at the Harpy. Is a plus zero. Does three damage to your defense Four. of... Oh, zero. Defense of zero. How much health? Four. Four. So you've got one health one left. One health left, so I just put that for one left. Okay, and it don't matter because I'm going to move oh, okay. forward here, and then I'm going to... Attack you. <laughs> this is so basic. Zero oh, and three, and oh, you're dead. dead. Mm -hmm. Level up. Well, see, the combat is so basic. It's I'm not sure game. how that's supposed to be satisfying, <laughs> but okay. But now you're level two, and that's a good thing. I'll just play the video game. <laughs> and then now that you're level two, you get an ability card. Ooh. What the hell is the crown? Uh, you get your no. oh, well now you can use special versions of the cards that you already have. So oh, right, there are crown right. symbols on the bottom of cards. Now yeah, you can got use one, it. You can use one per turn. One per but turn. because you immediately leveled up, I think you draw from the ability deck. Why? Because you leveled up. Why would I be drawn from the ability deck? Because that's that's what the man said. That's what the man said. The man said that when you level up, you... I, I don't know if it's a search two or search one. I think it's a search two is what he said, and you can't take necromancy ones. Okay, well, I'll go and I'll look here. It says deck building main hero. Um, you will gain experience and uh, units, your levels, level tracker. Additional information, current levels. Level one. The level tracker shows your hand limit. It also indicates when you can gain specialty cards or search the ability deck for new ability cards. No, you, you say so you got to get to level two. Yeah, all right. Search to the ability deck. At this hero level, you may play one card at the expert effect per round. All right. So at the end of your turn, move your first one. You got logistics and what? I got logistics and offense, but I have to choose one. Logistics was one of the best abilities in the game. I don't know if it At the end of your turn, move your hero's model to an adjacent empty field. Oh. Or Never the uh, upgraded ability is your hero gains plus one movement. Yeah. That, that sounds good. That one's really good. Okay. Uh, you have one more movement. And you can roll the, uh, you can move to the little campfire and get another resource. <coughs> no, because I did one, two. Oh, so. I used two movement. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so I've used all three of my movements. It's my my turn is over. I guess it's Alex's turn now. Okay. I'm going to. I mean, I'll probably just do the same thing that you did. We're gonna go fight at the mine. Uh, that is your. You will fight against me. Oh shit! I got a Griffin, bro. Sick. Well, he's we just had enough. <coughs> Griffin. Yeah. I have a um, initiative eight. What's your highest initiative? Five. Okay, I go first. <laughs> I'm going to attack your wraiths. Got it. So flying over here and then rolling the combat dice zero. So Griffin is three attack versus your defense of zero for three damage. You have what? Three health? Yep. Dead. Holy shit. I killed Alex. The Griffin did. Yep. And then what's this special ability? Where are you guys seeing that? They can retaliate an extra time. This unit can perform an unlimited number of retaliation attacks. Yep. Oh, was that the thing on the... The harpies. The yeah. harpies? Okay. Yep. Well, I guess I'm done. I can't move. Okay. Uh, You got cards in your hand, right? That you could do to fire stuff. I'll just draw mine. Yeah, just draw your yeah, four cards. That way I could know what. See what I got. So if you want it, Alex, I don't know if those cards may have helped in the last thing. Nope. No, Nothing there. helps right now. No, these are... Shit, I think Alex is about to get his ass beat. Yep. All right, you attack for a... Ooh, plus four. one. Four. I have no defense, and I have four health. Alex wins! Only because he rolled that nice result. So, go ahead and gain yourself a half level. But you'll have to put your whites in the recruitable pack. Mm -hmm. Or not pack, because that's an actual terminology. So, in your recruitable units. What else you want to do? You have two movement left. We fight again. Oh, where are you going? Another treasure chest. Another one. Okay. Put your one unit out. This is pretty risky. You're only fighting with one unit. So this is a marksman, and it said it has to go into the back row. Yep. So I'm a five. What are you? Five. Uh, attacker goes first. Yeah. So uh, you will be able to one, two. I'm going to cast five. magic arrow first. Uh, and then I'm going to... Okay, what's Magic Arrow do? It's going to deal one... I, I can have it deal two damage. This guy has three health. So I just want to kill him guaranteed. So I think I'm gonna, if you roll to die, you might be able to get it, minus if, unless you roll a minus one. Yeah, but he would immediately retaliate. So, yeah, I just don't want to... I'm going to Magic Arrow him, uh, deal one damage to him, Okay. and then he's dead. And then roll. Yeah, but he and I got a plus one. That's four. And then the yeah, he's yeah. Okay, gain a level, and you go to level two, which now lets you uh, ability or search two on the ability yeah. deck. Did you get your treasure? No, I didn't get the treasure. So the treasure is roll on the treasure dice. Let's see what treasure I get. And. Oops. Nothing. Hey, I got another level. Another half level. Nice. Cool. I'm going to do the same. You I got a tr got uh, a artifact. spell, I think that is. Artifact. That's an artifact? Yeah. You would it. know. Then now do you get one or do you get two cards? Search two, the artifact deck. Cool. Ooh. Show us what you what you choose on the green screen when you choose it. Holy shit. So one of the best things in the whole game 
Uh, in this game, it says the chosen hero gains one movement and can move through any fields without resolving them. So I can just move over bad guys and not have to fight any of them. Holy shit. The last visited field must be resolved Angel normally. Angel Wings? That has to be one of the best in the game. It is. I mean, it's it's fucked. And then the other so one. that's what Alex that's was saying earlier. Was <laughs> yeah, if he got something like that early in the game, the game would be. And then this is it gives me a free rare resource every single turn. Those are both ridiculous. I wish I would have so rolled I, that. I'm going to get angel wings because they're angel wings, and I'm going to... That's what I wanted. Yeah, we don't really know what to do with artifacts once we buy them, do we? That's the they go to your hand. They go to your hand. Oh, uh, y'all know for sure? Yes. The, 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 the rule, search the rule says that anytime you search anything, it goes, it goes to your hand. Cool. Your hand. Um, and it's trying to be balanced out because you can't use technically use it every turn, but there's so many rebuys. Okay. All right, well, is that your turn? I'm going to use Angel Wings. Uh, so I've used two movement. I'm going to get a free movement and this movement to go here and get a resource. Resource roll? Yeah, I get two base resources. Two what kind? Uh, just the, the, the base ones. They're not the, not the special ones. So they're the building ones. They look like stone. Two. And then that is all my movement for this <laughs> turn. And I will probably build and stuff on your turn. Going over okay, here. Joe. What is that space? Uh, I, I'm attacking. Okay, what is Level it? One. Just tell me. It's a one and then a what? And the symbol is what? Treasure chest? Yes. All right, well, let's start here. Uh, put your guys in battle. Okay, uh, this guy will go here. He's a troglodyte, and he is six. What is yours? Five. Five and five? Ha-ha, five five. the troglodyte goes first. I'm going to get you. I come over here. I roll. Negative one. A plus one, because you said that. That's four damage. No, that's four three damage. damage. And his special ability is he ignores something effects, whatever that is. Your guy has one defense, so he blocks one for two damage. You take two, and you still have one health left. Okay. Beat his ass with a retaliation. Mm hmm. Let me do that. Is that how retaliation works? We don't bitch. even really know retaliation, do we? He, he said in the video that once a character takes an attack and then mm -hmm. has not died or been petrified they, or a special ability, they so immediately. So you got a return. negative one. Two attack. Two attack, I block one and take one damage. I have uh, two health left. Okay, so now I use my gremlin. Yeah. So, well, that was your retaliation, I think. That was just your retaliation. So, so now, essentially, oh, well, you can, it's your turn, and you can either choose the archer or this guy. He has to go with the archer first because it's a five. Five and a four. Yeah. Okay, archer first. Archer Yay. firing plus one. How much Three. is that? Three minus one is two. Two will kill him. Huzzah! You win. Get your experience, Joe. So these early battles are, you know, near pointless. If I were designing the game, I would probably, like, you know, make it to where your early battles actually have some some meat and to them. Uh, yeah, I think you just probably have to play at a higher difficulty because we're on the... Is this the... We're on normal. We're on normal, yeah. This is treasure So one? normal. So hard yeah. would be two enemies each one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should play hard. Because there would be two cards, and that would be fair, two on two. Okay, so OJ rolled for the his artifact. But we are learning the game. So. Cloak sounds cool. Joe rolled uh, the die? Yeah, because the, the thing he was fighting was for the uh, treasure. And so he rolled the treasure die and then rolled the artifact symbol. Yeah. All right. Everybody's getting an artifact. But me. You got the ever flowing uh Show the artifact crystal cloak. Cool. I, uh, so he can discard it. Uh he can discard three cards to gain two uh rare resource or just discard it to gain one. Ever flowing crystal co cloak. That goes in your hand. Alright, what else, Joe? Well, I'm going over here. Alright, uh, that'll take you two. Two resources and a one. Another one battle. Got it. 
All right, going into battle. Put your cards into battle. Uh, boars, six. You going first. Here come the boars. And the boars have two plus negative one. <laughs> one damage. Blocks. You blocked it completely. Get retaliation on that one. I guess there's a retaliate. I really want to know and read about retaliation. Yeah. Zero, so that's three. Three. I block at zero. I have one health left. Okay. Okay, your so turn. And you that one. It's impossible for zero. you to fail. Yeah. yeah. I so win. Then you win. Now you level up to two, which means you gain abilities. Your, uh, the ability. Here's your two cards. Choose one. Oh, it's resources, right? No. <laughs> yes, well, but first you do your abilities because you leveled up. Oh. If a unit survives an attack by an adjacent unit, uh, no, no, it no, performs no. So an attack. That is a mine. So what that does that doesn't give them to you. One. You now create two more every oh, turn, no matter what. Right. So it's actually better. So put one of those your pips down on that hex to show that you flagged that mine. Yeah. So next turn you'll that get is the, so retaliation is legit. You just mark it with a black cube to remember that you retaliated. Cool. Now I am done. You are done. So that's it. Yes. So we've gone one full it's round. Been one week. You can discard your crystal cloak just to get a free rare resource right now because you don't get to like hold because you'll have to like start drawing. And what is that? At the end of your turn, move your hero's model to your hero gains plus one movement. Oh, I could use the logistics, right? Because it's in my hand. Does this go into a discard pile? When you gain the ability, it said it goes to your hand. It goes to my hand. Yeah. So I'm using it. Uh, okay. I'm going to discard this one. <laughs> Here, there's a resource die. One. Give me the great die. I get one crystal. Or what is that called? I get one valuable, right? Yeah. Valuables. Okay. Is there anything else here that I could do? Power, knowledge. No. Okay, we are at the end of a, our first turn, and now we have learned the game, essentially. Let me see what happens in the end phase, so to speak. So, um... Consequence zero. Okay, main hero. Round order. Weird. There's, there's no end round here. Guess it doesn't have an end round. We just move on to the next one. Yeah. Difficulty, victory, conditions, trade table. Okay, then in that case, we go to round two, which is here. Night time. And we get the astrologer, astrologer, mm -hmm. astronomer. Is it astrologer or astronomer? Astrologer. Astrologers proclaim week of the dead silence. Nothing changes. We got lucky. Nothing changes. There should only be one, well, there used to be only be one negative one. All of them had weird positives. Weird positives? Yeah. yeah, like week of the troglodyte. Troglodyte production increases by two this week. Week of the black dragon type stuff. Okay, so remember how this works. At the beginning of your turn, you can choose to discard any amount. So at the start of your turn, you may discard from your hand as many cards as you want, then draw cards up to your hand limit. So I have too much knowledge. I am going to discard. I'm gonna keep them all. One, no, I'll keep one knowledge because it does keep a spell in my hand, and I'll draw one card. Alex, well, yeah, I discarded two and I drew two. Joe, keep them all. Okay. Well, technically it's not your turns, but let's just do it now because it's easy to remember, and then. Um, 
there we go. Uh, it doesn't appear that initiative changes, so that's kind of... I, I don't like that. I always like it when initiative moves from person to person, unless I'm seeing missing it. Um, okay. So now what we want is we want to start producing better units, right? Do and you get gold and resources at the start of your turn? That's what I was thinking. We when does that... That happens at turn two. Remember the production, and then that's when it happens. Okay. Oh, turn three? Okay, turn so three is okay. when you get that. So for right now, I guess we'll just do more battles. Oh, and then do these go away? One-time use. Well, some of them are one-time. Some of them are not. Let yeah. me make sure that those are one-time visitable. Once you have visited... Uh -oh. um, is one this hand? is a cart um You're late jimmy i don't see a symbol for a car map but not a fields marked with the treasure allow you to roll treasure dice each field belongs to one of the categories you can e easily identify what you need to do when you visit a field Page 20. To visit a location, you must first move to the field. So this is like a, f a fire. Fire and dice. How do you know if it's revisitable? Flaggable, windmill, witch hunt, tree of knowledge, stables, dragon, sanctuary, resource symbol. It's visitable. Roll a number of resource dice. So then that visitable. Once you have visited, place a black cube. Got it. And visitable black cube. Y'all need two black cubes? Yeah. Oh. Here's two black I cubes yeah. and two black cubes. No, you, well, yeah, well. you're good. The only uh, one you use with your color are mines. So I've cashed out these two. You just cover the resource. And then I've got one mine of five mines. Whoever gets five mines first wins, I think, is what it is. So now it's my turn again. Uh, we drew up the cards. So... Now we go and explore. Well, I can't go that way. I have to go here first. So that's one. And then we, yeah, we'll come in. And it is the shrine. And I can pay three monies for Visiting. the spell. Spells. Okay, three monies. And then spell. And it goes into the hand, right? Yeah. Okay, and there was no enemy there, so that's good. And then I can come over. There's a question mark on that tower, so we'll see what the tower does. The tower does Redwood Observatory. Discover a tile adjacent to this one. Mm-hmm. What is number F3? The fuck is that? Yeah, I think that's just S1. marking the tile, I guess. Um, we're trying to ga gather resources, right? Oh, that has a level 3? Bro, but if we have... <laughs> what the fuck? Get I need to start son. getting some units, though. You, you will next turn. Right? How? Where next turn, you start to produce That's harpies. So five monies, three resources. Oh, I have enough. I have enough right now. Okay, I'm taking a town action to build. Um, and it says five gold. So here's your five gold. And three stone. That's your production, not your, your yeah. 
That's how much you make a turn. Oh, we made that mistake before. Correct. Okay, so I can't build that shit. Yeah, next turn you'll be, you should be able to build and make units and do all that stuff. Okay, in that case, we'll just... Because it's a level three. I'm scared I'm going to get my ass kicked. So I'm going to just go over here and get three monies for free. <sighs> Give me three monies for free. And is that a... I think it's a once per age thing that he mentioned. I don't know how we designate those ones. What? The once per the three money? It's revisitable, um, but it's like at every certain period of time. Oh, that's a revisitable. It's one? a water wheel, right? It is a water wheel. Yeah. So, still, uh, it, it's visitable, mm -hmm. but in this scenario, in round three, six, and nine, they you refresh. Re you, they refresh. That's cool. Okay. Um, I'm done. It's Alex's turn. Move here. Uh, actually, I can't build there, so I have to move here. Because I have to build this way. Cool. That's level two. I'm going to... It's a level two unit. I'm level two. Definitely don't feel level two. Fuck it, we're gonna fight. Let's see what happens. Fight at level two? Yeah. Sweet. Well, you have to see what the, the rule book says to put in for level two. It may not be oh. so hard. Uh, level two. Normal. It's only two bronze. We should do hard. Okay. Uh, set up your forces first. That's all your forces? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Evil eyes and skellies. So Alex is going a mirror match, plus I got evil eyes. Yeah, I'm going to play Cloak of the Undead King. Uh, this is just a, th it lays, it places card on a pack of skeletons, which is the pack of skeletons. It replaces the card statistics, and then when the Cloak of the Undead King uh, dies to zero, discard it. So this acts kind of like a shield for the skeletons, oh. uh, which is okay. going from the most one of the most powerful things in the game to something that only kind of, like, kind of mostly sucks. Sucks. So I don't like that, but whatever. I guess I'll put it on top so we can see. Uh, what's your movement speed, six? Mine is uh, also mine's six. six on evil eyes. Mine is also... Uh, so you go first. You're the attacker. Yeah. So I'll go up here, move three. Your uh, attack value is three. Or, yeah, three. Three. Um, can you play these cards at any... You can do these at any time, right? Just to discard this to draw two cards? I don't know. It should say it on it, right? No. What is the card called? Power. Power. Yeah. So that symbol. So, yeah, you could. But I can do it whenever? I just w want to know about the timing. Instant. Resolve effects immediately. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to discard it, and I'm going to use the crown ability because I'm crown level. I'm going to draw two. Going to uh, attack. So three damage. Three. Uh, you kill the skelly. He had zero defense. After defeating skeletons, if you control a skull hero, immediately reinforce one of your uh, one of your bronze units. So I can reinforce them. Yeah, but he's already reinforced, so you're good. Okay. Skelly dead. Um, now, Evil Eyes goes. And I guess he can attack anybody on the on the field. Yep. Uh, so rolling for him. He has a two plus a zero. So two damage. 
So I'll take one. To your defense of one. So then you take one damage to the shield. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to kill him. Mm -hmm. and then yeah. it's your turn. Yeah, I'll move and attack. How much life do you you have no three. defense? N no, you're going to need to do four because I got one defense and three health. I'm going to use magic arrow just to deal one automatic damage. Well, one automatic damage would probably just be it's blocked. A it's a spell. By the defense. Defense doesn't. Does that is that the video game? I, I just don't well, I mean, physical defense I don't know if it would block spells. Mm, I don't know. Spell cards. Um three spell effect. What's your spell effect? One damage. Well, I don't see anything in here that says spell damage versus other types of damage. Okay, let's assume it works. Okay. Um, and you're dead. What'd you roll? I it, uh, four, but you're it just kills you no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Again, pointless combat at early levels, and yep. it's just a wasting uh, our time. Yeah. That was second round, but thank you. Yeah. So you level up a level. Yes, only oh half a level because they're equal to me. Um, I also, does this do anything? So. Wow, if your units are reinforced, like, you are fucked. Because you can't ever, like, grow. Necromancy doesn't do anything. I can't raise the dead at all. Unless reinforce allows me to buy other units. I think that card goes into the discard. Anything else? Yeah, what's reinforce do? Reinforce when you, you flip a unit over. That's all it is? Yeah, that's the what reinforce is. Okay. Uh, necromancers are useless. That's super fucking sweet. Ah. Yeah, you can't raise dead, Doc. If your skeletons are maxed out, you just... Um, yeah, I'm going to double check uh, unit costs. So each unit has two separate costs on the card, the recruitment cost and the reinforcement cost. Um, to reinforce your unit, you must have a citadel, pay the reinforcement cost. Mm -hmm. Reinforce unit have higher statistics and gain new abilities. Yeah. And the key word reinforce is flip one of your, you can reinforce one of your bronze or silver tier units for free. Got it. Yeah. Hmm. It allows you to reinforce in combat for free, which seems pretty good. Uh, you know, if you don't have a citadel and you're paying for it at the citadel. I mean, that's what necromancy is. It's just letting you reinforce, like discard to reinforce. But because my my skeletons are flipped, I can... Your, I, your skeletons are already reinforced, yeah. But when you buy new units, you're going to have a lot of units that aren't reinforced yet, correct? Yeah, but low this reinforces for low-level stuff. Why is it for low-level stuff? Because it, it, it says it's for low-level stuff. Can I see? So, play after winning a combat other than a quick combat. You can reinforce a bronze or a silver unit yep. of your choice. So, right now, you have one unreinforced and one reinforced. I only have one. I have one reinforced unit. Because the other one died. Yeah. Okay. Well, you start the game with one reinforced and one unreinforced. Correct. So, necromancy would, at the beginning of the game, would allow you to reinforce your wraith had he not died for yep. free and then once you get your silvers which how many units uh, are there of silvers two mm -hmm. so you can get so if we're doing the math 
you can get up to three reinforcements for free, and then the card's useless. Yeah, I'm just saying that, like, I killed skeletons, which lets me reinforce for free, and I have a necromancy card, but I can't use it at all. Right, because of the situation that happened right now, that your wraiths are dead. Yeah. But if your wraiths were still alive, then you would be able to use the necromancy card to make the wraiths Yeah, yeah, okay, upgrade. so I think... The word use, it is a dumb fucking implementation of necromancy, not useless. It's it's narrow where it's like, this is the whole point of these guys. I don't get morale. I don't get to do anything cool. I get to bring skeletons back. And the game's like, you can never bring skeletons back if you've already brought skeletons back. Yeah, so if your skeleton guy dies, there's no way to uh, bring him back. Yeah, and then so it's yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's, you it's, would have liked that better if your skeleton guy died. You can, or bring if him you back. can't reinforce, you just get another weaker thing of skeleton, so you can have like a bunch of useless dudes, which is kind of again the kind of the point and the flavor of. And in the video game, you can have more than one skeleton. Oh, thousands. The whole point of the thing is to make thousands of skeletons. Yeah. And so you, here you can only have one of each unit type. Yeah. Okay. So it's just it's. So here in the board game, it is much weaker. Yeah, I, I think it's a flavor fail. Which now, Necromancy, if you brought 1,000 units in the video game and you lost 500 units, does Necromancy allow you to raise 500 units? You take a percentage of the hit points of the total units that died in the fight. And so normally Necromancy percentage starts off low, like 5%. Can you break the game with Necromancy? Uh, it snowballs really, really well, yeah. So it's so like you if you could end up breaking the You game. can end up getting thousands of things. But, like, skeletons are so weak, you can obliterate them really easily so mm -hmm. cool yeah all right um what's next that's it for me joe i'm going that way okay which way oh sorry what's oh. two treasures t to one mean because i have to do the treasure thing two treasures to two one. treasures arrow one Two treasures, and then you you choose one so you get to roll two treasure dice and choose the result oh cool Going to the spooky castle. So you can either get a level or you can get a spell. Oh, uh, artifact? Uh, or artifact. What is that? That's the artifact symbol? Uh, What's the fucking spell symbol then? That is, the, yeah, that's an artifact. And the spell symbol is a wand with a star. Uh, I'm actually just going to level up to three. Cool. Instead of taking an artifact. Now you can have five cards in your hand. We yeah. can only have four, me yeah. and Joe. All right, Joe, you placed cool. the new tile down. I'm going to the spooky castle. Cool. You're going to a spooky castle, which has, uh-oh, a level two. Scarred. Fuck. Let's see what happens. Hopefully something good. It's you a go to? castle. Spooky castle. Uh, That looks like a prison. I don't know what it is. Prisons usually have neutral heroes you can recruit. Got a question mark. I like question marks. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what could that be? What is this? <laughs> don't mind Tell me you. more. Joe, I don't actually see this on the map. <laughs> so um, I guess you're just it would going be there to level. I think it would be visitable. Under yeah, the I'm looking at all the visitable um, bits, and there's no uh, art that looks like that art maybe in the uh, expansion is it a book? settlement no i think it's a prison dungeon settlement no there's no expansion does it in tiles. Where, f10 no all right well fuck uh when you flag a settlement you may collect your reward oh, from a, a number that's of a settlement. bonuses if you capture a settlement that has not been previously owned owned by any player you gain an extra bonus do you think it's a settlement? That's what chat said. What's wild is that art is not on this. Maybe it's an inferno settlement. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, that make that would make sense. Okay, so settlement, Joe, you're going up against uh, level two, which on normal no, the difficulty punks. level that we're at two is bros. just two. See, I think I think we shuffle these every time. But we'll see. Um, the thing never told us if you want to look at that at the end of combat. Um, what pleasure we do all the way, baby. Okay. So this is archers and this is halberds. Okay. Five is my highest. 
I have six. Asshole. The halflings are going to attack you. They're going to attack your, um, what is that? Iron giant. They're going to attack your iron giant for zero. So that's two damage to your iron giant. One damage. Only one damage. Mm -hmm. Got it. <coughs> okay. Uh, what about your fives? Any fives? I have a five. Which is your five? All right. Fire your arrows. Who do you want to target? Can I Alex use has the red die. I'm going to use my spell. You can use the spell. Chain lightning. Oh, crazy. Put it on the green screen can. Chain, chain lightning. lightning. Can I use that, Alex? I don't fucking know. How did you get that into your hand? Because I only had nine cards, and that's one of them, and I drew four. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's it do? Chain lightning. Yeah, what's it do? Select a unit and... Uh, another two. Hard to read. And yeah, another two units. Down. Another two units closest to it. Select okay. a unit. Another two units closer to it. Got it. One slash one slash zero damage, starting with the first selected one. So <laughs> let's go with that one. <laughs> Uh, one <laughs> slash one <laughs> zero. What does that mean? So uh, the first, the first one, second one, the second one. So chain lightning in the game worked. You would do full damage to the first, then half, then half, then half. But chain lightning, you can't just use willy nilly. You have to select one of your units. You can't not select one of your units. Oh, okay. Well. Why? Because chain lightning hits three units. That's what that says. It says oh. select a unit and two additional units. So you would do hands. that one, that one, that one. But okay. because it does zero that damage is. on the third bounce, oh. it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Which is how you use chain lightning in Got the game it. anyway. Right. So like, well, I'm still gonna use it and zero. On the yeah. Bounce. Well, he knew that from the video game. But the it says card itself says it says one select a unit and, and two other units closest to it. Yeah. You have to select three units. Okay. It, it needs to say that on the yeah. card. Okay. All right, I use it. And now I it says zero damage because it was still on the card. Now I attack. Okay. Uh, this one has to go first. Fire. Red dice. Who are you going to fire at? This guy has uh, two health left. This else? guy has three health left. I'm going to go for the first one. Okay. This guy has three health left. One. Negative one. It's a one hit. Only one? Yeah. Okay. Two damage. Mm -hmm. He's got two health left. Um... My initiative is four. Your initiative is four. You're the attacker. You go first. Roll the die. Better kill it. Three. Three. <laughs> yep. Kills it. Cool. Now, uh, my halflings already went. Uh, and then it was your turn, and you already went. And you already went. Right? Yep. So that was one round of combat. Do you want to spend another one to go another round? Another movement? Fuck it, let's do it. Okay, my halflings fire first, firing at your iron golems. <gasps> Plus one, that's three damage. Three damage minus one for your defense, two more damage. Um, isn't... And then so that's got one damage on it, so it would so three damage. Oh, that kills your unit. Yeah, Joe, you, you lost use? a unit. What's that thing do? Oh, yeah, I have uh, my dragon scale armor. You can discard I to give it two armor. It. Yeah, so you sell my okay, sword. two armor, and I do no damage then. Okay, yeah. your turn. My turn. This one, that's nothing. Two. two to my zero, uh, three, he dies. You level up. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have one movement point left, Joey. What do you want to do? Going over here. Oh, and I guess it's a well, settlement, so put mark? put one of your, your markers on it. A question mark is, tell me what it looks like. Alex has the rule so book, actually. Question. No, the <laughs> se the art above the question mark. Oh. Prison? You said it was a prison? That looks like it's an inferno. That's a prison. That's the other one. That looks like inferno something okay 
Alright, well, besides that, I'm gonna go over here and do the treasure. You're gonna do a treasure? Mm -hmm. Is there an enemy? No. So that is in it. Town, settlement, kingdom, and star. So, but m maybe it's in fortress. No. Fortress of. Oh, well, maybe it's in rampart. <laughs> settlement gives OJ a prize to choose. It's not in that. We're going to assume I that... I trust him. I want a prize. <laughs> what the fuck with these symbols? You Ah, found it. I found it in the Stretch Goals mission book. So, map locations, Black Market University. There it is. It's called a prison. That's what I said. Just like Alex knew. It's visitable. You gain a secondary hero. Place their model Yay. on this field. If you already have a secondary hero game, that's fucking sweet, yo. Grab it. Grab sure. your second guy. Oh, I got to get it for you. All right. The wizard. Now, uh, visitables are a uh, place of black. Yeah, that that's, they, they usually disappears. Yeah, black. So you can't do it no more. Don't take this one off, Joe. All right. Let's see why. However, that. you had one movement left. Yes, I went to that treasure. Too. Where's the treasure? Right. Okay, go to it. I'm sorry, I moved your guy. And then roll the treasure dice, one of the yellows. And you got a. I can't see treasure. that symbol. Uh, That's artifact. an artifact. Okay. God, y'all guys get so many cool artifacts. And then he gets three new, new movement do doolies. Oh, yeah. Because my guy. He'll have this. Uh, and under the bomb. Discard the neutral units that were involved in the combat and draw is. Discard the neutral units involved in the combat? Yeah. But no reshuffle the deck? I didn't see where it said discard any any neutral units. What's the sentence say that you just read? Discard the neutral units that were involved. Uh, so this is, uh, let me start at the. Yeah. It, because the full sentence is discard the neutral units that were involved in the combat and draw new ones when a hero enters the field. So if you're fighting again, but that's the only mention. It doesn't say reshuffle, but I'll keep looking and see if it says reshuffle anywhere. Yeah, that might be in the FAQ. Okay, uh, Joe, well, you just rescued one of your guys. Does that mean now you I have win. two guys and you get you get <laughs> you break the game? game, Joe? You just broke the game. Well, it's like 10 free. He got 10 free gold is what he got. Because you can always recruit your second guy for 10 gold. Oh, shit. Well, I better do that. Okay, so then I'm going to move over here. And that's a town action? Second hero gets two movement guys to spend. I'm going to check, but that's what Chad says. Second gets what? Two. Oh. Rooster Castile gets... Uh, we'll put it here uh, did you buy... Did you... Cannot gain experience and has two movement points. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm moving right. over here and getting this question. And do you have to keep those arrows separate, or can your main hero use the two arrows from the other guy? And where are you going, Joe? Uh, this question mark right here. Okay, question mark. That's going to need to be... Probably an, an Alex thing. It's a hut. It's a trading post. So look up what trading post is. And you can trade resources for other types of resources at a certain rate. And they're never good. I mean, if you, like, desperately need the resources. So uh, you can purchase six or one rare resource for six gold. You can purchase one normal resource for two gold. That's lame. Yeah, it's, like, it's really expensive, okay. but it's a way to get a certain amount. I'm going to go... Over here, well, that's a... Well, then I'm going to recruit my second hero. How do you do that? Uh, I think it, I think you just said 10 gold. Yeah, it's it's one type of uh, town Population action. action. 
All right, town action. Uh, population token. So I'm flipping my population token, spending 10 gold, and I'm grabbing a second hero so that I can do cool stuff. Give me purple. And then I'll get two moving arrows. I'll go over here. And then I get artifacts. What? Artifacts. You already went there, didn't you? Nope. Okay, that put a black a token. And the treasure needs to be a black token. God damn, man. How the fuck? Where's all the fucking artifacts for me? Fucking hate this. This looks cooler. You go to hell. Which one should I choose, chat? Red Dragon! I don't know. Choose your bow. <laughs> the Red Dragon Flame Tongue goes with your armor. It's part of the same armor set. So if you want to, to collect... Match. With mix match. Fire Sword looks cooler. Though I don't think that they did armor sets. And well, there. Go with the flame. Yeah, you're a dragon guy. When your secondary hero goes into combat, you may not use any cards from your hand or my magic deck. Yeah. That's fucked. They share your units and level, but that's, that's fucked. I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to go this way. One. And then I'll place mine out. And two. And I'll gain a spell. Just for free. Fucking bullshit. Alright. I'm done. That was, uh, oh wait, no, that was one movement? No, that was two movements. Okay. Because it comes from my capital. You gonna pay ten to get your guy? Yeah, why not? Uh, all right, let me put that away for me. Boop, boop. To level three, so they'll go. Bye, right. Scarlet. One. The good one, not the evil one. Evil Scarlet. That's Miss Scarlet. And exploring is a free-ish, right? Yeah, I think so. Discover a map tile if the hero is on a field next to that map tile. Discover. Oh, so it costs one to flip it. Okay. So one, two. So I one, two. So I technically broke the rules. I'm I'm right here. Excuse me? See? Cause one to flip. We haven't been doing it. Fuck it. Let's, green just, arrows. let's just play it two out with. Arrows. And I'm done. It doesn't cost. Now go. it will cost. Okay, so I guess it's back to your turn. Yeah. My turn? Yep. Oh, well, it, it's gone to round three, right? Yep. Yeah. So round three. Um, and in this scenario, we remove, uh, hold on, it's only certain black tokens, it's not them all. Yeah, it should just be the water wheel. Uh, water wheels and windmills. Yeah. Where's, that's a water wheel? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen any windmills yet. All right. Um, some cardboard boxes. But <laughs> now we achieved our first uh, resource gain thing. So we do that. Where's the section in the rule book that talks about that? <laughs> 
All right. At the start of this round, uh, all players gain income from town buildings, settlements, and mines they control. The amount is marked on the income tracker. Ooh. So I gain four material. Um. Oh, here it is. Four material. Four. And... One resource, or one valuable, what do you get? and ten, ten four, gold. Ten, four, one. Ten, four, one. Yeah, that's what I got. Ten, four, one. Because you. you own a mine, right? Yeah. We all oh, have do you mine. own a mine? Yeah, we all have So we're all ten, four, one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now we should be able to engage with the game like... In some m meaningful way, because I should have enough. So, okay, these get flipped. Okay, so now I'm going to take a town action, because I should have enough to buy warriors. So do I have to discard up to five if I got the artifacts that go directly into my hand? I well, have you have a hand limit, yes, so five. you're going to have to discard. My artifacts? Yeah. That go directly? It's all, that's all a part of your hand. Which reminded me, one, two, three, four, five, I need to definitely discard. One, two, three, four. Taking my build action. I'm taking my build action. What are you building? My mausoleum. What is that? Uh, that's where liches come from. That's where your gold is? Or your silver? It's still a silver. I want to build my silver. But liches get bitches, so. Inner labyrinth, eight gold, six resources. You had six resources? Yes. Oh, I can't afford that. So I got, I got two resources at the start of the game. Yeah. And y'all been doing work. The six resources, three. Yep, yeah, here. So oh, I guess here, I get put, my harpies. You put that wherever you want that. Or should I save my shit? I'm going to save my shit. Can you give me two silvers? Man, I'd love to do the sound effects for vampires, but I can't get vampires. <laughs> Too expensive. How much do these things cost? These are eight gold each? Sure, Leo. I don't know Blah. what to build. Blah. Yeah, let's build that. Book it. One. All right, fuck it. I guess I'll just build the fucking bronze. Alex got fancy. Can you enough. give me a one change? One, Thank three. Thank you. Five. Now watch them die on the very first combat I go into. And four. <laughs> okay. Well, it just cost three weeks salary. <laughs> you can never fight anything lower than you, right? That's a rule? Well, you can fight stuff lower than you, but you get no experience. So what you can you can do it to just for the sake of having combat. Yeah. Okay. Okay, get two spells. Dwarf peas. Okay. Well, <clears throat> hopefully we are more powerful now, and we will have more fun in the battles. Or how do I recruit? <laughs> 
10 gold. And then this is a hashtag, isn't it? Yeah, let me do the recruition. Recruition? <laughs> did you recruit, Joe? Because uh, since you bought a new building, right? One. Didn't you buy a building? I did. What'd you buy? The mage. Your bronze, right? Oh, mage guild? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he didn't buy. Oh, you're doing spells and shit. I'm yes, doing. Magic! I'm doing page 26. Alex is also doing page 26, but one level above me. Right? Town actions. Use a recruit or reinforce. So, unit costs. Oh, it's on the card. Okay. So, this unit is. This is on three bucks to recruit? All right. Now I got harpies. Oh, uh, gross. I do. Oh, no, I have <laughs> Don't harpies. show your drinks to that guy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I guess now um, we flip over all of our movement tokens. And I will move this guy. Oh, there's enemies there. So we don't want to do that. There's an eagle if we go to that direction. There's an, an eagle. Temple. Visitable. Gain a positive morale token. Okay. That guy gave me a positive morale token. <clears throat> so now I have two morale. We forgot about morale. Not me. I don't get it. Yeah. But you also don't have to suffer from negative morale whenever that shit happens. Yeah. To you. Uh, so I got to fight level threes and it's re revisitable. I'm trying to build... Inner Labyrinth. Labyrinth Sweet. Minotaurs are really good. So I need... I need three. So that give me two money and one resource. Okay. Uh, well, I might... Might as well interact with the space I'm in to gain three because that one got freed up from the astronomer. And then we'll go one, two, and try to win here. Joe. Yes. One, two. So I have to win in the first round of combat. Otherwise, I don't know what happens if you're not able to complete a combat. Your we never. Soul is so, Joe, draw. <laughs> These are your two guys because okay, cool. it is a level two. And here are my guys. Okay. I got to put my guys out first. And I'll put them here. And there you go. Oh, shit. You have what? Six, six. You mm. have uh, rangers and what? Mark of, uh, Rogues rangers. and halflings. Yeah. Okay, I have a six. I'm an attacker. So the harpies are going to go first. And I guess we're going to come out to you. Is one's, a, one's arranged? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to attack the front guy. So harpies are attacking. Yeah! Oh, fuck. Negative one. Only one damage. Block. Fuck. Nah. This sucks. But there's no retaliation. After the enemy's retaliation attack, this unit can return to the space oh, from which to. it moved. Sorry. Attack. You can attack those because they're not upgraded. Okay. The neutral ones were upgraded. Let's go so this is your retaliation? 17. Is this a retaliation? Yes. Yeah, one damage. One damage. Just a single one? Yep. Okay. After the enemy retaliation, I can move back, it says. Not that that helps. I don't know what that would help with. Okay. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, um, so now we go to your sixes. Mm -hmm. right. So which six are you doing first? Um, this one. Okay. Attack me. 
one. Negative one. So one. two to me. One, yeah, one hit. Okay. I'm still, I'm still alive. I've got a three. Go ahead. The archer. Oh. Archer, negative one. Joe Roll, one negative one. Dead. One. Son of a bitch, no defense. <laughs> Give me cards. The harpies that I fucking bought. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. I do have cards. Thank you. Cancel an attack that would reduce your unit's health to zero. You can Ooh. cast a spell immediately after a unit's attack. Resurrection, bitch. Plus knowledge, bitch. Play this Get card. Out of necromancer. Get out of here. Play this card after casting a spell. Instead of discarding the spell card, take it back into your hand. I'm also uh, one crown. Uh, take it back into your hand during this combat. Your spell limit increases by one. Sick. So I can do another spell. That's fucking sweet. All right. Kind of like that. Um, so that's done. It's now it's my turn. fives. Yep. Uh, this is a five, and this is a five. Evil Lies will fire first. Uh, three. Plus nothing. Three to that. Minus one. Two hits. Two to you. One more hit. He's dead. Okay. That's what the troglodyte light will do. He'll Miss. move there. Minus three. An attack. Negative one. He dead. Troglodyte three. So does two. Minus one. He dead. Okay. <laughs> and now it is... So I did, I did that, I did that, and it's his turn. Wait, six? No, that one already went. So we reached the thing that I was worried about. Oh, you. The have combat no ends. Points. I don't have any movement points left. So, can I use maybe a valor? A morale point. Or a morale point. You I don't know. Surrender. Give me your money. <laughs> I was worried about this. Let's see. Um, if the defending unit survives adjacent to the attacker, uh, return to step one until end of combat round. Okay. The player chooses to surrender. Player retreats. All units on either side are. Okay. Okay. What what happens? End of combat round. To feel bad. <laughs> That's a no no. I can't see what happened. I think you just you just keep going, but but what's the point of spending another resource? That wouldn't be right. I mean, so the comment can it can end in three ways, right? You choose to surrender, you're not. A player retreats from the encounter, you're not. All units on either side are defeated. That says the only three ways you can be defeated. Combat ends. Right, so does combat not end? I know the guy said something weird. Yeah, but is that so like if you will go to the movement actions so that you can see what that yeah. one movement action is that continues combat? Nobody have this game yet. Your your Parksis has it. He's been quoting rules pages and stuff. Your Parksis, have you have you received it yet, or you got the rule book? You got the PDF. So you're you're doing about as well as we are. 
Continue combat against the units for one additional round. P page 29. See, there, it has to be on page 29 that tells us, hey, that's it. Uh, you know, if you don't have, if you can't pay that, then that's it. I guess we do need that couple again. Yeah, if you fail to beat bronze, silver, or gold tier neutral units within one combat round, you may pay one MP to extend the combat by one round. If you are unable or unwilling to pay the extra, then your hero retreats. Uh -huh. The combat ends, and you have to move your hero back to the field they were on before engaging in combat. Oh, fuck. I was the first one to fail. That sucks. So it does not count as visited. Discard the neutral units that are involved in this combat and draw new ones if you re-enter. I got beat up. All right. I got my ass kicked. Wow. So he's got the PDF, and he's also on Discord with the developer. Ooh, you fancy. Fancy, lad. Uh, yeah, but you're not asking the developer right now, right? Uh, is, is the nah. developer watching us? Because if you're asking him right now, then he probably would have came over and watched. Okay. I said your troglodytes right in front of you. Yeah, you these guys are dead. Oh, he died? But no, the harpies died. I need oh, to okay. buy him again. Oh, no, no, because I used the Resurrection. Resurrection, That's yeah. right. All okay. Right. Well, uh, I'm fresh out of... Uh, MPs. I'm fresh out of MPs. Got it. I'm going to go else, to... Uh, oh, also, I can't fight things that are lower than me. It, it specifically yeah. says in the rules you can't. Why? Yes, you can. It, no, it specifically says, and in practice, I, we looked at both of them. Pa I think it's page 29. It says if they are lower than you, combat you win combat, but you get no experience, and I can't use yeah, necromancy. Yeah, you win combat, so you can, but you'd get nothing. The rule book is right there. Yeah, so I can't, but that's I have to win combats as a necromancer. That's what, what necromancy is. You have to win a combat. What is? What are you talking about? The necromancy card? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't use necromancy if you're fighting units lower than you. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. It's like the whole point of necromancy. I know. Like legit. I know. Alex is super pissed that his necromancy is not as good as it is in the video game, and is not as good here either. It's just not a good ability here. I think that getting free upgrades. No, 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 no. You have to pay. To pay you for have Citadel. to pay for them. Yeah, but just go fight units at level two. I'm like level just, three. You're level three. You, if you had won, you'd be level three. You're level three. I'm about to be level. We're three. all level three. Wait a minute. You should be level three had you won. Oh, shit. So you're level three, so you need to be coming into here. Yeah. And then, okay. Yeah. Well, here's a level three right here. It's like having Superman with You got to find no the level threes powers. on your map. Those two don't have yes. level threes. There's a level three here. I, I can eventually. Okay, they go there. Yeah. I still have to pay for the, the gold Kick for the units, ass. though. Break yeah. nothing. Yeah, go kick their ass. Uh yeah I well I, it it doesn't I'd have to pay a ton of gold. But that's to do not it. in the video game. Obviously, if you are beating up on lower level units, you still they have still, skeletons inside of them. You still advance. You just unzip them and you pull the skeletons out and everything's good. I went to a scholar. Tell me what a scholar does. Okay. It's a dude with a robe. A dude with a robe. Scholar. Yeah. Uh, and a book and a candle. Usually is like a random. It's either a random artifact ability or. Uh, All right, we're using tiles from the expansion. Uh huh. Okay. What's really annoying is uh, how all this is distributed. Who's the guy in chat that bought it? Why Praxis? Yeah. You're gonna get real annoyed. The fact that. You know, there's map locations in secondary books. I need everything in one book. It's already bad enough that I have to look it up in a book every time. He mentioned before that there's a lot of things not clear in the rule book. In the oh, yeah, yeah. I think we all agree. Okay, so the scholar is in the fortress mission book. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, cause and then you come over here to scholar. And then what does he do? He does visitable. So go ahead and put a black token on him. Yeah. Uh, roll one attack die. Got Depending it. on the result, you get some of this. Negative one. Negative one. You draw two spell cards, take one of them, and discard the other. Yay. Yeah. So that then means that uh, if you're playing this game, at least... That means if you're playing this game... Oops. If you're playing this game and you have... 
and you spent all the money like I did, here's what you're going to need handy. You're going to need the rule book. You're going to need the mission book since you're playing the first mission. You're going to need the stretch goals mission book because it's going to have other uh, building locations you on it. Library. You're going to need <laughs> the fortress mission book because that has the scholar on it if you put the tiles from the fortress in there. And then you're going to need the rampart mission book which has the different tiles locations. So what we needed to be careful of, I guess, is not putting in tiles from the expansions. I don't believe in segregation. Though, oh, so. and then there's also, <laughs> forgot about this one, then there's the, the Inferno book. I don't believe in segregation either. Yeah. Fuck segregation. All right, uh, Joe, I'm yes. playing a level three. Oh, that's fucking sweet. Maybe yeah, this can't. battle will be fucking crazy. Let's Wait. go. Now we actually get to see if you truck through along for a few hours, let's say four hours. Let's see what kind of battle you got. Yeah. Oh. Well, what we should really be doing is playing on hard since we've got a veteran here. But I don't want to switch up to hard. My units are terrible. Okay, well, your normal at level three is two bronze and one silver. Can't wait to die. Oh, Zero thank you very much. Zera, the snow you're leopardess. Dead. You're dead and you're gone. Okay, go ahead and set up your units. But I think unit setup is a little more complex than we have been giving credit. You just have to set up all your units, archers in the back, and everything else. No, you're the attacker, so you're forced to set up first is what I originally thought it was. However, it might actually go based on priority. Let's double check. What the fuck? Put the map elements before combat. Okay, place freely up to five of your units on the back line and front line. Yeah, no, the, you just have to do it first. This is in solo and co-op modes is when it, it's different. Cool. Okay, so um, you've got archers, and I've got liches. You've got liches. I've got zombies. you got skellies, and i got wraiths. Got it. So um, my highest is a... Seven and a seven. What's yours? Uh, six. Okay, I go first. The liches is going to attack your skellies. Damn it. Negative one. That's good for you. Only two damage incoming. So I'll take one damage. Take one damage. Yep. Okay. And then the wraith will move since he's also a level seven one. Two, coming and attacking over there. Zero, plus three, three damage to you. Remove up to two from this unit. I don't know what that is. So he, he only has two. Two. What? His attack is two. Oh, I couldn't see. Two, yeah. yeah. Two damage. So he's got two damage now marked on him. All right. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Fireball on the Liches and Zombies. Okay, uh, how much damage? Uh, I am going to What does do... Fireball do? It's like select two adjacent spaces, so I'm going to cool. select those two. Deal uh, the star damage to units in these spaces, and I'm going to discard that one for two. And then this one for two. Sorcery and power, and then it, because I discarded a sorcery, I draw one card. Uh, and so deals three damage to each. Okay, this guy's still alive, and this guy's still alive. That's pretty powerful, though. That's your one spell for this one combat round, unless you want to spend another movement for an another combat round, but we're not done yet. Yeah. Um, so, uh, go ahead. So, so you have sixes? I've got a six and a five. Okay, do your six. I can't attack your archers. Zombies are three. Um, so zombies go last. Yeah. Uh, I guess the liches will attack the wraiths. Okay. Uh, and three damage. Okay. No armor. So I have one health left on the wraith. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess my skeleton will attack. 
Uh, the... Well, that's cool. The Wraith heals himself if we go oh, you into attack a second my skeleton. combat round. My skeleton needed to retaliate. Yeah, here's the retaliation from the skeleton. Uh, the skeleton okay. did four damage, so this was actually dead before my Lich attacked. Yes. So I'll reroll from my Lich to attack your zombie. Okay. Uh, four. And so the zombie four itself, yeah, the zombie is dead. dead. Okay, uh, that's the end of the combat round. Do you want to spend a movement? Uh, yeah. If the attacker resolves... Okay, I go first. I'll fire at your skellies. Uh, negative one, so only two damage to the skelly, which you got one block, does one damage, which would kill him. Yeah, it well, it puts him down to few, right? From pack to few? No, it kills him. I thought... He said it flip it it flips over and carries over the the wounds, doesn't it? It flips from over pack? and carries over? You flip it from the pack side. Yeah, because that's the that's the benefit of having it flipped over. That's the benefit of having it flipped over? I thought he was more powerful. Well he is more powerful, but I mean like the, the it's you also shrink the 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 amount of I've never seen a flip I except for the, the flip in the combat section? Yeah. The guy's okay. like the hologram like gets like, killed or whatever. Uh -huh. Flip it over, carry over the text. Um. All right. Well, I was kind of paying attention. See. <laughs> okay. Uh. Result: Reduce the attacking total by the defending unit's total defense value. Then deal any leftover damage to the unit. If the defense was greater than or equal to the attack. Then no damage is dealt. Place a damage token on the defending unit for each point no of damage taken. God. Flip the card and place any leftover damage on it or remove it from combat board entirely if necessary. Flip the card. But if you're going in with a normal one and you flip the card, you've just upgraded yours. Well, but yeah, you're yeah, going. You but that's all it says. Yeah. You can't, yeah. you can't yeah, do it by upgrading. <laughs> that's really unclear. I just saw it from the video, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's do it like that. I don't see why not. I do want to know how it's really done. Because when you say pack, to me, that means there's multiples, right? Yeah. It's a pack. So yeah, the way to represent multiples is uh, flipping the card. These follow exactly the same rules. The retaliation die has an equal to... You roll two attack dice and choose the lesser of the two... Two dice. attack dice? How did he roll two? I want to roll two. Row, or is a ranged unit attacking an adjacent unit, then it suffers a combat penalty. Oh, yeah. Take Meaning the worst. you roll two attack dice and choose the lesser of the well, two... Well, okay. Dice. Ranged unit versus... This. Determine your attack value, which is equal to this number on the unit's card, plus whatever you rolled on the die... Mm -hmm. Plus the bonuses from any other cards or effects which might occur. Mm -hmm. Suppose here no cards were played, so the attack value is 3. Deduct the defender's defense value represented by this shield. So here it's 1. And okay, well, let's, let's do it. So you flip your card, right? Yep. Okay, and what goes on next? Uh, now it's I flipped this over. Um, and for then, another round of yeah, combat, and then now so my on, lich fires at you, which, which I already did. Which right? did that, yeah. And so my lich will fire at my lich. at your lich. Uh, I got three health left on my lich. And then I need the other red one because I have to do choose the the worst of the two. Why? Because I'm attacking all the way across. That was the other thing he's about to mention. If a range unit is attacking a fur, like a really far range unit, you have to do you're at disadvantage. Okay. So I do two, two more damage to to that. Okay. Um. And then your guy moves three. Yeah. So I'm to going to. Well, he's got two. I could potentially fuck this up. Oh, he has no armor. No, no armor. Then it may now. Uh, I'm gonna discard this attack to make sure that he just dies. Okay. You win. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Put that in the silver. Uh, and then I'm going to play necromancy because my skeletons were weakened, but I have to pay gold to resurrect them and put them back over to the shiny side. 
black magic costs money. It costs money. <laughs> costs money, Joe. Uh, and this is a Rampart settlement. Ah. Or no, that's a fortress okay, settlement. So there is a little bit of resurrection there now that we know that the hologram is flipped in combat. You can flip it back up. Cool. But it costs money. And it you costs can, money. And you it can costs only, half or something. Yeah, it costs half, and you have to be able to, you can't fight lower things to use necromancy, which, was, again, was the whole point. Is but I think it makes thematic sense because you can't necromancy unless any of your units have been depleted. Then once your units have been depleted, now you're able to necromancy for half the cost it would normally be, right? No, anytime anything died, you could... Take the co collection of bones and make new skeleton friends. Oh, you're talking in the video game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, Here, you're, that's you can never get pa more powerful via necromancy if, unless your guys are weak cool. to begin with. Um, yeah, so I, I guess I capture a rampart town. What happens when I capture a rampart settlement? Huh? That's a good question. That's a rampart Alex? settlement or fort. I think that's oh, a that's a good settlement. question, Alex. <laughs> yeah. uh, d please wait momentarily while I check one, two, three. Let's check I think out. it's four. Five. Let's, five rule let's books. Let's check out the video, chapter one hundred and fifty-two. No. <laughs> Joe, shut the fuck up. There were only ten chapters. There it is. Settlement flaggable. When you flag a settlement, you may select your reward from a number of bonuses. If you capture a settlement that has not been previously owned by any player, you gain an extra bonus. See page 25, Settlements, in the core rule book. <laughs> Go back to the other You book. son of a bitch. Core rule book, page 25, Settlements. Hey, here's 25, Settlements. When you flag a settlement, you may select your reward from a number of bonuses. If you capture a settlement that has not been previously owned by any player, you gain extra bonuses. So you need to gain extra bonuses. Keep right? it a prison, not a settlement. Oh, that's a prison. Yeah, prison. Okay. Uh, settlements. Uh, settlements okay. function just like towns. The difference is uh, they do not have their own buildings. When you flag a settlement and place one of your faction cubes on its field, you may choose one of the following. Increase your gold income by five. Mm-hmm. Increase your building income by two. Basically, move the move the uh, uh, what do you doodads call that? Up. Yeah. Move the doodad up by one on any of these tracks, yep. or reinforce one of your bronze or silver tier units for half the normal cost. Uh, necromancy. Well, I can't afford to do that because necromancy is too fucking expensive. That's bullshit. I don't like yeah. that. Y here's where I would make the compromise: necromancy free. And then I make the compromise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I move my track up by five um, because it's the only one I can do. Yeah. Um, my for free hero. For free. Um, is going to move on to this thing. And since my for free hero is also level fucking free, three, because mm -hmm. my that's how this works, yeah. uh, these guys automatically run away because they're a giant bunch of bitches. Ah. Uh, and right. then I get to do two, tr uh, search two on the treasures. You get to roll two treasure dice, two yellows, and you choose one. Do you want a level or do you want an artifact? Level so everyone fears you. Level up. And then because I'm now level four, I'm going to take the level four ones of these cards and put it in my hand. Holy shit. How are you already level four? Because he was in two battles. I was just in battles. I just got a full level from this and then that battle I just did. You ha you've done six battles so far? I don't think so. No, I haven't. I've only done four battles, but this is this. I keep rolling these. Oh, okay. Um, so now this guy is also level four. Um, and then I'm going to move here with his last movement and get three gold. Mm -hmm. So can I have three gold, please? Yes, you can. My turn's over. Okay. One, two. Yeah, that's uh, mine. Actually, you got to fight a level three to get it. No, let's go over here. I'm going this way. <laughs> I don't think I can. All right. What? Where do you want to put it? You'd have to touch two, it would be over here. God damn it, Joe. <laughs> All right. Uh, something that would benefit you the most. Mm -hmm. 
You want an artifact for two enemy or a, a shrine where you pay three and get a spell? Let's go to artifact. Artifact. We've got a touch to tile. How does this work? That works. You touch two. Okay, fight. Level two. Well, there are no more level twos, Joe. You automatically win. Huzzah! So I level up. Because <laughs> the game never says to shuffle that deck. Uh, how many you need? Two. Normal is very easy. Okay. Joe, put you guys out. Boars and skeletons. I'm a four and a six. Six. Wait, five. You go first. I'll go first. Here comes the boar. I need a red dice. God damn it. Plus one. Boar is hitting you with two. So it hits you for three. You block one. You take two damage. Okay. I'm uh, retaliate. Right? Yeah, okay. retaliate. Plus one. Ooh, four. Four, four which is going to kill dead. me all right. Okay. Then I got the okay, then your I turn. Move. Well, it's a gremlin's turn, not that guy's turn, right? Well, he's retaliated, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, I gotta gremlin has first. to go first. Okay. One hit. One damage. Only one. Got it. I'm a level four. Are level you four? four. You're a four? Yeah. All right, you go first. Hit me. Plus one, four. Four? Yeah. You're dead. Yay. God damn it, man. What level are you? Ate this shit. Uh, now I am, well, almost to level. Pointless. Four. What level is the encounter you're fighting? There you go. I level two. Oh, he didn't even have, he couldn't even have fought oh. that. <laughs> Cause you're level three, Joe. Yeah, he. Yeah. You son of a bitch, you made me do all that. They ran away. <laughs> well, all right. Well, I got one more. And so you could get the artifact now. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. The artifact is uh, one of the cooler parts, and I've never even got a single one. Cause I got fucked on tiles, I guess. Discard. So how to many artifacts do you have, Joe? Like uh, I seventeen, I and I get zero. Fuck this game. That's you. <laughs> Armor Wonder is really good. Yeah. Armor Wonder is kind of a bleh item, but always being able to draw a card to gain one is pretty sweet. Well, it goes in my head. Yeah. Oh. Sentinel's shield is really gross, too. Um, four, five, six. Okay, moving right here. Is that what level is that? Three. Three. That's three. Is okay. What's this? We'll just figure it out. You don't want to fight a level three? I still got you know, my other movements. No, that guy, he's not going to bring. He can bring units, but he won't bring any spell cards in there. Okay, that's fine. He's gimped. You don't care? No. Okay. So this is a, uh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's a fucking waterfall, waterfall thing. Yeah, usually gives, like, luck and morale. Magic spring, visitable. Uh, put a black uh, token on it. I got it. You may look at the top three cards of your discard pile and take one of them back into your hand. Return the remaining cards on top of your discard pile. So is that discard? A spring. I, mean, I like the way it's working, but Put back in my just hand. play the video game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oop. So I need to discard. Mm-hmm. Nah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 All right. Cool, cool, day cool, cool. four? Right. Or do you have more? Well, I'm going over here. No, that's the other thing, so... Yeah, trading post is kind of poopy. 
Huh? What's that tower? Uh, you can reveal uh, one of the other things. You can reveal an undiscovered tile from far away so you can see what it looks like without getting jumped. Wait, no, that's a witch hut. That's different. You may either remove an ability card from your hand or look at the top card of the ability deck and put that card into your hand. Okay, I'm going over there. All right, another black. Is that a witch hut, Alex? I was just looking at the art, yeah. An ability card, the ability, this is ability card that goes into your hand. You never go to those. Never? Because you're in the game, you only have a, like a set amount of spots for abilities, and some are really bad. And you could go there, and it's like, you have luck! And it's like, well, I don't want luck. I want offense and defense and logistics. It's Sounds like, like it's pretty faithful. This is pretty faithful for the video game. With some you know, modifications here and there for balance. Okay, I'm done. Cool. All right. Going into turn four, let's see what the astronomer has to say. We get a plague. Astrologers proclaim week of the wild debauchery. Yeah. At the beginning of the next resource round, all players gain five less gold. Woo. I don't like that. Woo. Sit down. There's a party in the tavern today. We are thirsty again. La, la, la. We drink for a week of wild debauchery for seven days now. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Okay. Well, that was some pretty wild debauchery, guys. It's going to cost us. It's going to fuck us all over and cost us five coins. Does any, everybody have five coins right now? I have exactly five coins. I have a lot more. Just give it to me because this is going to happen. Well, I guess. Well, it's five coins less than the next resource generation, so. Yeah, we'll wait. All right. Um, so these all flip over, and you can go down to your hand card limit and decide to discard things if you want to discard things. And you flip your tokens back. And I'm going to, yeah, bug it. So that's the cost, right? Just let the let let me do it now oh, so yeah. that we can get it Eight. over with. The cost, right? Three. That's how much to recruit them, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. So wait a minute. If that's that. Then where is the... Can I buy silvers? Is the game too? broken? Hmm? Can I buy silvers? Once you build... For genies, you have to build the Altar of Wishes. Um, I, I, it may be called Enchanted Towers. It'll tell you what on the building itself. Here, let me... I'll <laughs> yeah, actually, that's crazy. I don't know how you're supposed to know. This is the Altar of Wishes. So this is the thing that gives you genies. Well, how am I supposed to know that? I don't fucking know, man. Okay, where are all of the motherfucking mines so we can win this thing? <laughs> oh, uh, so this you have, this is a mine? That's a mine. That's not a mine. That's that, a cart. That's a mine. That's a gem pond. It's considered a mine in the game. What? I don't know. I didn't know that the whole fucking time! Yeah, that you better not be the fucking gem. Better not be a fucking mine. God damn it. I could. I hate this. All right. Well, one, two. That's oh, a those are three. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. This is possible to win. Three. Then I can go grab some of your mines or grab some of those mines. But there's no mines here. At least I don't think there is. No, is that a mine? What is that? Is that a mine? This is a root of one? Alex? Which Alex, one? Is that a fucking mine? Which one? I think that's this. That, yeah, that's a mine. That's an alchemist lab. <laughs> it's uh, like if, since we don't know. The I thought this. Uh, whatever. Whatever. <sighs> All right, it's a five. No, now, now this game works. Now, like if we were to play it again, it would go a lot faster. Um, and there's enough mines near me that I get it and I understand and I'm leveling, but. Okay, I think we'll stop there, yeah? 
Well, we want. Well, y'all want to go one more? Oh no, no, no. Okay, no. okay, cool. Uh, okay, Doki. Heroes of Might and Magic Tree, the board game. I don't think it's. I think it says it's Heroes of Might and Magic, the board game, and then the three is the score out of ten. Oof. 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 That that's coming from Alex, who has played ten thousand hours. I'm. Maybe let's say a thousand hours. I've but way more than that. Because you used to play every Friday. Yeah. Bray and I would play every Friday and Saturday, sometimes on Sunday, and that's just the last ten years. I started playing this in like the late nineties. Yeah. And we played it all of the fucking time. Okay, well, uh, I'm most interested in late your opinion. So, minutes. do you want to go first, or Joe? Go first. Yeah, go, yeah, go first, for it. Um, for me, second. I would rather just do the core right now, the core gameplay, because like with the, all the expansions, seems like a lot. And like I was trying to recruit my genie. I did. I did. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as a backer. Yeah, but you it's, did. It's I a couldn't feel bad, really though. tell. It's a feel bad. It's like you have I to couldn't really tell what was books. what was the expansion ones. What were the stretch goal ones? Because there's stretch goal expansions. Then there's normal expansions. And then there's the base game. Yeah, so that really came to a screeching halt whenever we we're trying to play this because like we we're playing with the tiles and like trying to figure out. So you have to. Go through this book, so maybe but now I know everything from all of them. So I think it's a worth. It's a it's a worth. It. Okay. Well, anyway. for, to start with, to start with, it's a lot for that, and also like there was a lot of confusion because I did I wanted to get my genie, but mm -hmm. according to Alex, I need to get the enchanted tower to get the genie. Well, I, how is, is that I your supposed gold? to know that? Yeah. It doesn't say anything on there. It says in the rules, Joe. Well, I don't have you, it though. You There's don't have the rules? No, no. I'm just saying like. Well, yeah, but. Uh, okay, hold on, Joe. When you make your final impressions, you have to at least be do do your due diligence and be like, don't fault the game for you not reading the rules. It's in the rule book, right? Usually, this just... building that builds my liches uh -huh. should say it builds liches. There should be a little lich face. Yes. There should be something on there. There should a be a symbol icon somewhere. Is what I'm saying. Well, is I, 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 that's not too difficult for me to figure out. The way I figured it out was here's what Joe's talking about. So you got your gold. Oh, here you got your the gold symbol is really the only thing that you see on it. So and then here's the gold symbol again. Well, the only other place a gold symbol is, is on your units. So to me, that gold matches with this gold. And it tells me I can build manticores and black dragons once I flip that token and pay for it. But this one's green. <clears throat> What's green? This one. That's I'm, not the one that builds it. Here. It is. For me, it is. This is silver. This this is silver. And then this one is gold. And then here's my silver. So there's my silver. So your silver building builds your silver units. Your gold building builds your gold units. And these stars are in the upper right hand corner. So Okay, well, but still, okay, but it was wait, unclear to Joe. Got still, it. Uh, we Hang on one second. Uh, did you see The Witcher season four is bringing? I I don't know, huh? Charlotte. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. They are really desperate to course correct. Season four. Isn't it season three? No, it's season four. No, it's just, it's season yeah, that thing's gonna be a disaster, my man. Hippie Hunter. Uh, I we're gonna review it because I think it's gonna be a fun disaster. Like Halo. <laughs> yeah, like Halo. Uh, okay, Joe. Sorry to interrupt. So, anyways, uh, I would say for me, I would start with the core gameplay. Yeah. Because again, there's so yeah. Even though you would know what books, you still have to go find that book and then go to this chapter. Then you have to go over here, over here. Yes, sir. Um. I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy the combat so much. I just, mm -hmm. I just. Now, do you think the you didn't enjoy the combat because it was it offered us no challenge on normal? on normal? I think if we were playing and we were playing on hard and combat was getting really close and we had to use all of our cards, so on normal we're only fighting one enemy. On you know when we get to a level one. But on hard, we'd fight two enemies, and when you level to loot three, you're fighting three well, the enemies. Leveling wasn't too so bad. I think I think we should have started on hard. We were on normal. Yeah. I think easy never play easy. Normal is your first game only, and then when you play the board game, go hard and impossible. But 
Uh, so that's the difficulty. What about the mechanics of the combat? Did you like the mechanics of the combat? Mm, honestly, not really. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't really enjoy it too much. Um, I'm trying to think of something I like about this. Yeah, yeah. Tell uh, us, is there anything you like about it at all? Because, um, again, leveling I've your characters? never played the video game. Mm -hmm. uh, I've played better board games. Oh, yeah. So I probably wouldn't pick this one up again. Um, yeah, I yeah. don't know. I don't, I, I don't really like too much of this. It's kind of messy as well. It's a so it wouldn't play it again? No. Got it. Unfortunately, it, it, this is too messy. Can you give me one thing that you That's like what about I'm it? trying to how do. About each fa how, is it cool that each faction has seven different units? So there's... But tons he, of factions. Or I didn't really feel like a wizard. Uh, he didn't really feel like a necromancer. Mm -hmm. um, no. So you didn't like that each faction has seven different units? I would have to, honestly, How I would have to you? try this again and yep. differently and get another playthrough. Okay, but Joe based says. Off of this one, I, I wouldn't. I uh, if we were doing like a five-star system, it sounds like a one from you. Yeah. Or what is it? Uh, honestly, I'll probably do like a one right now, but I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather try this again, like clean it up a bit. Yeah. I would try it again, maybe. Maybe I'll try it with Jay yeah. and see, but uh, now that we've got all of the things, we're through it, I think we could do what we did again here and get get it even. It would be a better experience, but how much, right? Yeah. Yeah, he'll probably just want to play the game from the sound of it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, so that's yours. You would give it like a one on um, yeah. your first play. Maybe it overwhelmed you, but at the same time, you couldn't find a single positive. So that does say something. Um, me, I like it considerably more, but no matter how much I like it, I can't get over the fact that I could just play the video game. And it's simulating the video game so closely that I, in that instance, I just play the video game. And when you do that, that's okay. But when you make a board game version that's very close to the video game, there has to be some really unique mechanic or fun mechanic that was developed for this particular physical version of the game that that flows really nicely or that's speedy so you can get in you know uh, plenty of of time now there's something to be said for crunchy games that last a long time but i feel like we're just going really slow and there is tons and tons of downtime here because mm. not only does this game suffer from i hate it when board games are like i'm doing everything you guys are doing jack shit and you sit around and wait right now this game compounds that even worse with this whole battlefield element because when i'm in battle you guys are just staring at me yeah you get to control the opposite skeleton sure i guess but that's not you know yeah i, I fine but it compounds it a little bit more to where there's a lot of downtime for other players when it's not their turn um so the video game's better uh it's a lot of downtime in between turns. There's no unique mechanics here that make it, oh, yeah, but the board game version. For example, uh, Blood Bowl, the mini uh, the miniatures game, is awesome. There's this grid. You're moving miniatures. It's great. But Blood Bowl, the card game, is its own thing. It simulates it almost perfectly, but you're using cards, and then you're like, putting penalty tokens, putting flags on people, and then when you flip them, people can get called off the field, and so your totals change, and then it's basically simulating an entire season in a single game. So it gives you something unique in addition to uh, recreating the, um, the actual Blood Bowl. And so I think Heroes 3 should have done something like that instead of copying it almost exactly just doing it worse and slower so i would probably give it a two out of five stars like i probably uh, i do want to play it again because i'm so heavily invested i mean i bought the all-in version so i'm scared to i'm scared to check how much this cost me i'll go and do that now while alex tells y'all what he thinks of it. Um, 
I give them no credit whatsoever for attempts, and, and that's something that we've seen a lot of people say that oh, this is this is what you got. Like the, the you have to pare things down. It's a board game. It's like really loving uh, uh, like a beef Wellington, right? Pastry wrapped, delicious fillet, and then someone showed up. It's like the best I could do is a hot dog. It's like well, it's kind of the same thing. It's like there's bread wrapped around a little meat thing. I don't give you any fucking points for it because I gave you money. You're not my friend. You're not some this. You are a big company that wanted what three hundred plus dollars for all of this shit, and this is an absolute fucking failure. The combat is awful. This is terrible. <laughs> this is paired, like Heroes of Might Magic 3 combat, you, like range units and positioning. All the units can attack other units like in the first fucking round. There's no slow units. Your Iron Golems are going to make it to their front line the first time. And so they, they pared down the combat. They pared down exploration. This is deck building, but it's the saddest fucking deck building. If this was a deck building game, it would have zero out of 100 on Board Game Geek. Fucking zero. This is the worst deck building game we've played in years. We played some really bad ones. I don't know if it's the overall worst, but it's fucking awful. So it's like this is wearing the skin of something that I absolutely fucking love, and it just didn't do a good job. Like, look, you want a positive? This is a really cool sculpt. Oh, I really like go. that. The this miniatures are sculpted well. well. This is really cool. Like, I actually love the minis because I love the original units. I love the art. I don't give them any credit for it because they're just taking it. Well, some of these are redone, and some of them are pretty neat. But it's like the game system itself, the exploration, the, the building. How long did it take us to get to starting to build our first units? Yeah, even if we knew was, it, uh, it was maybe about an hour and a half, and we built our first crappy unit. Yeah, so even if we had been experts, we play this again. We can probably get there in what 20, 30 minutes. Thirty. I minutes, don't want to wait thirty fucking minutes to be able to build and, zombies, which are fucking. And useless. plus, the combat was not challenging, but that was that is fixable if we go up a difficulty level. But it's it, more challenging. I just so it's it, it makes it more challenging, but I don't think it makes increases the complexity. And I think that you've pared down the complexity of the. Combat. This right here, this simulates the complexity of Heroes of Might and Magic 3 combat. Like, you have a larger grid, you can put things further back, slower units are going to have harder time, yeah. faster units have all that stuff. So why is this not in the base game? I know it's in an expansion, and if you play it with this way, it makes this worse. Because they're like, oh, well, if you play on the, the Battlefield expansion, then this part of yeah, the game sucks worse. Yeah, you can't play this multiplayer. This is one-on-one -on -one only, or cooperative only, or... Uh, single player only, I think. Yeah, so this, I don't think, does anything because it's its own special then, mode that makes uh, that so, worse. So hold on, there's a whole nother thing. So when you go on that grid, then you get all of this. And the minis only go on that grid because they're individual units, right? Yeah. So I'd say you're not even playing half of the game in, in you know, in the game. So uh, <laughs> so if, you, if you're talking like, what do I think about this as a Heroes of Might and Magic Maybe. 3 game? It's wearing its skin, but it's got pared down base building to the point where I'm not interested. It's got pared down combat, which was the easiest thing to emulate. This is the thing that anyone who loves the game could have recreated in a board game sense, because this makes sense. And it's not even in the original fucking game. So you failed. So like, what, what am I supposed to give you credit for? This isn't good. This isn't good. The flavor of my town sucks. You didn't feel like a wizard. You didn't build any. You built harp. We we played. I know we we were I built slow. Harpies out we of were everything. slow, and I understand. Four that. hours in our first game, I built harpies. If you had played an hour and only had built harpies, you would be upset. Yeah. So for the amount of money that you paid, we could have bought a laptop and played this hot seat and probably finished a campaign. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, I got you. Um, Okay, so uh, in this mode, this is called the Clash mode. There are three other modes. There are Alliance, Co-op, and Campaign, where you play solo. This might be a better solo game. It might be a better one-on-one -on -one game. It might be a better co-op game. But this is our rating in Clash. Joe, one star. Me, two stars. Alex, that's pretty much one star. So, um, I want to go lower. Yeah. <laughs> I looked up how much I spent. I spent 260 bucks, And that's like the reduced price if you get in early on Kickstarter because you can find this shit on eBay for like, you know, three, four, four hundred, five hundred dollars $500, you know, so. Anyways, <laughs> Alex is zero stars. I don't know. Is I, it zero stars? Well, we don't typically do zeros. No, like, I honestly like, do think that the toy factor is sweet, and I love the I base think there's art. there's enough miniatures. Like, the miniatures are amazing. I love the art. I mean, I don't give and them the a art. lot of credit for it. I mean, they did repaint some of these things, but it's like that stuff is iconic. But they took something that so is iconic that people have loved for 30 fucking years, 
and I don't think that they did it justice. I don't think that they tried very hard. Apparently, on board game, geek people are rewriting the rule books to make this game better already. Yeah, because the rule book is is a, a, a the information is displayed in a lot of different areas when it needs to be in one area. Uh, the this hex system has terrain, but again, if you have three players here, you're not playing with this hex system. Well, here's so. in my magic is two dollars right now. Two dollars. You get the good old games version because then you can get uh, the uh, the modded version. It's up to you. Yeah. Are you, tell, are you telling me I paid uh, I paid a hundred times more? Yeah. <laughs> like Three hundred times more. <laughs> All right. Well, I love Heroes of Might and Magic Three, and I'm a fan from afar. Alex is far more of a fan than me, and so I backed it because I like you know that's one of the things that got me. I like the game. I want to see what the board game version of it. What could have been, and maybe it could have been awesome, but um, I think with the right group, our ratings would y your ratings might be a little higher. Maybe in one of the other game modes, it might be a little higher, but this one didn't do it for us. So I'm glad I got it out of the way in our collection, and this one probably is not going to hit the table again unless Jay wants to try it out with me and we go one on one on the hex grid. Then who knows? My two star could go three. I don't think it's going to go anything more than that, but that's. It could. All right. Anyways, that's it for us. Thank you all very much for hanging out with us. And we'll see you back here tomorrow on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, everybody. Go buy the PC version now. Yes. If it's $2, you should buy it. Guys, everybody in chat that has not played this, it said all your two you should go and buy it. All your two stars could go to a one. one. Because remember, this gets better, but <laughs> oh, that's true. It they could said go to this a gets one. worse. It could go to a one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, bye, guys.